watching live. If you're watching later on youtube.com slash kind of funny games, like, subscribe, share, all that jazz. If you're watching live on youtube.com slash kind of funny games, I doubt you were here right at the start of it. I doubt it. All right. So I look at the chats. <coughs> and what do I see over here? I see average John say, look at that nerd. Or look at this nerd. And he's referring to me, of course. So that's going to be a timeout right there. No, that's not a bang. Yeah, timeout. Average John, you went timed out for 10 minutes. Woof. It's a long time, isn't it? But that's what we'll be doing here. Average John. I'm on, I'm on timing you out, John, by the way. Also, John, you, there's a typo in your name. You put J-O-N. It's J-O-H-N. It's how you spell John. So you should probably get on that because you look like quite the doofus right now. You know what I mean? You look like you were born and raised in Kansas. Anybody... Can tell you, Greg Miller, the number one Diablo fan is here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Mike and I are going to be playing Diablo today. We are going to be playing with you, the community. That's right. I don't know if we're calling out right from the the old uh, kind of funny uh, 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 clan and just saying, hey, who needs some help? We'll come help you. Or if we're bringing you out of the chat, Mike's got his plans. Mike's got his ways, as they say. Uh, so we're excited to see that. Excited to see what mikey has up his sleeve for it but right now we're playing diablo i am so excited to be here uh tom g says greg you're using jen's taylor swift again no don't try to confuse me any more than i've already been confused by myself all right i'm using my jen my genevieve here my rogue uh and of course jen is in fact using taylor swift it's been quite confusing at our house as you know i usually always roll the taylor swift uh, for the beta or the review period for this, I rolled a gen and I was like, you know what? I like how that looks. I'm going to keep going. And so then, of course, I kept going. And then Jen jo dropped in for night one, made her character. And she's like, you know what? This looks a lot like Taylor Swift when she was making her necromancer. And I was like, motherfucker, that does look a lot like Taylor Swift. That's probably the most Taylor Swift looking character I've ever seen in a video game. But it was too late. I was already off to the races as Jen. Here I am. Uh, Slushy says the clan is full. Even the fan-made ones are full. Yes, Kind of Funny is quite popular, ladies and gentlemen. So the Kind of Funny clan is full, and so are a number of them. Guess what? Nothing is stopping you, Slushy, from making your Kind of Funny clan yourself. Make your own. Get out there. Make another Kind of Funny best friend one. Play with the Kind of Funny best friends. Have some fun. Just like Mike and I are going to do today. How are we doing, by the way, chat? Are you ha feeling good? Are we going over there? Uh, Quintarius says, Greg, how's Jen feel about you abandoning her and leveling without here? Quintarius, I won't let you come into my marriage and try to cause problems. All right? That's Nick's job. Uh, my plan here is, Mike and I have talked about, we're going to help you. So chances are, we're just going to be not getting as much progress as we would if we were doing the story and like it doesn't matter because Diablo is great about it and how it goes and what I we usually do is start if I was going to join your game all the enemies I would see would be the 38 that I am right and if you were going to join my game and you'd be level 20 let's say all the characters you'd see were 20 we'd both be doing the right leveling thing when you play co-op split screen like we do couch co-op then it doesn't so I'll just join Jen's game if I get and what am I going to game like three levels we're playing like three hours I'm not going to do too much don't worry about it uh, Batgirl15 says, Greggy, I'm a new T Swift fan. Always respected her, but really gave her a music, a ch but really gave her music a chance. Fire. It is fire. We should uh, spend a lot of money and go to the concert. No, we shouldn't. Ju Dow says, Greg yeah. sounds stuffy. Hope you're doing okay. Yeah, it's allergy season here in SF, and I occasionally get a break, and then other times occasionally get my head kicked Greg, straight you need, in. You need to eat more of that local honey. I know I do, Kevin, and every time I'm at the farmer's market, I forget to buy some. So I have honey from Chicago. So I am probably, you know, oh, in, it, yeah. to I'm invulnerable to Chicago. You know what I mean? Like Chicago me bugs. Do you want me to schedule a post, uh, like a text to you, reminding you to buy honey? Yeah, but this week's SGF, I won't even be in town to go to the farmer's market to get I the whole honey. I can schedule it from two weeks from now. Perfect. Love it. Crush it. What time are you normally at? Or two like weeks from now. Sorry. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to say do Sunday and do Sunday at like, let's say 8.30. Okay. Thank you. Mike, you've joined my game. How are you? I have joined your game. I'm doing very well. Uh, I accidentally refunded all of my ability points, so I'm currently You're... just smacking buttons as fast as possible. You are as a possible. clown. Uh, Mike, can you bring the, the mic closer to your face? 
Uh, it is very close to my face, but so, I'm, yeah, gonna, I'm gonna bring it all the way up here. There you go. <laughs> I like that. It's, my sound every single day is somehow changed. It's crazy. You, today, it's, well, I mean, I guess it's consistent <laughs> with like. Mike, just keep your keep your face up to the microphone from now on. You got it. Yeah. Um. All right. So yeah, Greg. I don't know. I'm excited to play and really have some fun with all of you, big dog. I'm excited to have some fun with you, little yeah, dog. Yeah, homie. This is it. Now here's. I hold on. I got three mm -hmm. words for you. Hold on. Yeah, you ready, Mike? Yeah, give me some words. Chicken Caesar wrap. Oh, must do. Are we doing it? Because we're going to have to eat at some point, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do it, big dog. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Mike, how much did you miss me yesterday when you were playing hardcore mode with a oh, bunch of jabronis? I'll tell you what. You play no, with Greg Nick Miller? who just doesn't want to play this video game. It's like so boring, you know? Oh, man, where's the shooting? Where's the alpha so male? Boring. I'm Nick, everybody. Oh, no, I burned down yeah. Chris Anka's village because I can't play a simple video game. Oh, no. Oh, man, we're back on Icarus. <laughs> we're back oh, on Icarus. No. It's exciting. It's an exciting time. Guys, I made a poopy. I'm Nick. Uh, Aguirre Malone says, Greg, are there croutons in the chicken Caesar wrap? That's a great question. Yes, I don't... there are. Yeah? Really? And they're delicious. Kevin, you want a chicken Caesar wrap? We do, we do chicken Caesar wrap. No, I'm okay, but I'm excited to hear that there's croutons in there. I still think that the evolution of the Caesar salad is, is Who are you in our hands. We just have to grasp it, you know? Yeah, sure. That's fair. The cheeseburger Caesar salad. I'm down. Mm -hmm. So many people here were scared of it when I brought it up. I hate people who are scared of things. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you have to be the change you want to see. Gandhi said that. I'm looking at the man in the mirror. So, Mike, we're going to play with the community. We're going to get out there and help them with their quests and things. How yep. do you want to do that? How, how do you see that happening? I mean, the easiest way is have them either request to join our squad or if we want to help them, they should just send us an invite. We'll go and join them and run around any way they want to go. I'm all about that. I'm not ready yet. You are all about that. You're a helping yeah, man. Shoot you know? the invite. Chat, if you want me and Greg to play with you, shoot us the invite. We'll be there. I'm in. That. That. Kevin's looking at the man in the mirror. Kevin's asking him to change his ways. I'll tell you what, Mike. <laughs> tell me, Greg. We talk about cancel culture a lot, you know? Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Michael Jackson must be in hell going, whew, thank God I dodged that. You know what I mean? About five years early. <laughs> oh, my God. This guy is hanging out with kids all alone being horrible. Christ. And everybody's like, ah, I believe his story. I believe his side of the story. He made Thriller. That's what they all said. All you know? He did. He made Thriller. He made Thriller. <laughs> Am I wrong, Kevin? Show like me thriller. where I'm wrong. Oh, you're right. You're right. <laughs> Nowadays, you eat a Chick-fil-A sandwich, they throw you out in the street. <laughs> Michael Jackson. We got to get my microphone dialed in right away because it's time, it's time for me to take this one back right away. Uh, <laughs> what is this? Is sponsored? Yeah. Somebody's got to say the truth. <laughs> we got to get this back on track right away, Chad. Holy cannoli. Oh, man. Oh, what? They we're not off track. We're having a conversation. Shit. I thought this. I thought this was America. What happened to the speech, Mike? Mike, how scared you get when you dance like this? I love it, and then I think to myself, "Oh yeah, we just gone down this road, ladies and gentlemen. We're there together, you know." And that's Sorry if Big Michael Jackson's still watching. They're gonna try to cancel me. I'd like to see him try. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, did anyone send us some invites? Chat, send us some invites so we can join you. It's one of those, I put, I, I could, we could put in the clan chat, but I did that last night and no one sent me an invite, which makes me think one of my settings might be set to be like, yo, don't talk to me. Oh, really? But I couldn't find it when yeah. I was through my settings. You know where they would be? Legal Beagle says, LOL, we can't. We can't because you're in a party. Okay, so we can't be we can't be partied up together yet, Greg. Once well, can't one of us we, joins, then well, we can go. Well, so here, we here's what we do. Other. Here's what we do. All right, I'm gonna use my uh, short. Me, I'm gonna do this. I'm going into the chat, right? Okay. And then I go into 
The clan chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can't you can't be invited when you're already so yeah, Sabbath, so, Guy V is there wanting in. And then no it's still Guy V. This game okay, I'm, I'm yeah, gonna yeah. Uh-huh. Who wants so squat up question mark. You see him typing in that great, like his speed, you know, he's doesn't slow him down at all. He's done this for a long, long time, this dumb chat pad. I have. Ah! I'm getting attacked! Ah! Fight, Greg! Fight! I'm not even sure for the message sent! Well, we didn't see it on, on Mike's... Yeah, yeah, no, I think I think I think I screwed it up there at the very, very end. Hold on, this arsonist had to come in and set it off. No, 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 no. God, there's more bats, too? Get out Leave me alone. Everybody go away. Jeez Louise, I gotta fill this chalice with blood. I got bats coming at me, Mike. Sorry, I finally did my skill tree, so I'm All right, so Jason the loot is down. Oh, no, he's talking to somebody else. So in the clan, I don't Let's see anything from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Squand. Oh, I think you're the only one allowed to write in the messages, too. What are you talking about? There's all these people writing. I've never seen anyone writing this. Look at, right, look at my screen right now. These all people are all writing. Yeah, there's a lot of text in there right now. Oh. Can all right, it's J6 one in, J6 wants in, and then Endless Dark wants in. But first, we're gonna can Hit him with you the be remember those names for me, all right? Because it's gonna take me a second to write J6 and Endless Dark. They're can ready to you rock believe <laughs> Michael <ready> Rock <laughs> <laughs> Jax? <laughs> Oh, we're gonna ask him about MJ. Okay, okay, we gotta ask him. This clan is a place where we can air ideas. <laughs> we gotta <laughs> throw it out there. We gotta ask this guy, is right? All right, submitted. That's in the clan chat. All right. <laughs> There's a great screen grab. My character just can you believe Michael Jackson? I didn't even get it in time. Uh, okay, so clan. Who wanted it? Jacek wanted it. Jacek wants it, and the endless dark wants it. We got a stronghold. What does that join request 26 mean on the right there? Oh, these are your things, Greg. You got some strongholds you got to do, bro, bro. Uh, I've been doing a lot of stuff I got to do, yeah. Invite the party. Who is, uh, J6 been invited. Who's the other one? Endless, endless dark. dark. Endless Dark. There is Endless. No, that's 8-Bit Alex. Nice try, coward. You thoughtful. All right, they're both invited. And then, yeah, join requests, like... There's a gajillion people trying to join the clan, but it's broken because yeah. it's like we have, we're so popular. So that's not on me. You know, there was an error. See, bam, there you go. We tried. All right, everybody's here. Uh, let me fill no, this chalice I, real I quick. Am I close enough to the microphone now if I just like sit up straight like a normal human being? So, like, if not, I gotta do the Nick like punch back. Well, you want me to scoot it up? I don't know why. No, I'm like... just asking you because you're telling me you told me I'm too far away when I stood up like a normal person. So I need to know. Uh, like, yeah, how about now? Is this better? Greg, okay. he sounds great to me all around, all right. but uh, so it's whatever oh, you guys okay. need. Greg said that sounds great. Thank you, Greg. Okay, I mean, if you want, we can do mic test. Mike, tell me, no. do you stay with Michael Jackson or his victims? That can be your mic test, right? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's freaking get let's get lost in this I'm video. Ordering there, I'm, I'm ordering a rap. I'm ordering a rap. Very excited to go on a weekend vacation with Greg Miller with this energy. Oh, you I are going to have some fun with oh, me, Oh, man, sir. we're going to have some fun, you and I. It's going to be nuts, man. It's going to be nuts. Uh, Kevin, you said you didn't want one, right? No, I'm good. Thank you. All right, Mike, I'm just doing two raps here, you and me. Two raps, okay. Right, What's uh? Oh, what did you say? Are you guys getting Slack notifications, and does one of you have a desktop on? I can assure you I'm hearing stuff like that, and I don't oh, know okay. how to check okay. that if I, I did. I okay. He doesn't know how to check that. Oh, I mean, I like, yeah, I know, but I wouldn't be able to do it quick I to turn off the mute. Right. Thing. I'm coming to you, Greg. I'm coming to you. Okay, cool. I got to turn in this chalice of blood. I filled it with blood. Well, let's get you some know? kills. All right. That should be muted now. Thank you. Dark, that's jabroni. My guy placed the order. Little Joe's. We do have drops enabled on our channel, though, right now, today. Just so everybody knows. Uh, we do have drops. It is not the special Andy Cortez drop, but 
if you are a rogue or necromancer, these drops for week number one are all about you. So if you're playing rogue or necromancer, you or maybe you're uh, interested in doing that, these drops are for you. Yeah, you got to watch uh, for three hours. You got to watch uh, yeah, no, streaming Diablo. I'm sorry. Maybe you didn't hear me. I said, have you been doing them? I have been doing them. I already have the first round, jackass, and I'm working oh, on the other I, one over no, my desk. No, I'm not a... Not a rogue or necromancer nerd, you know what I mean? It's hey, at any point, I know you're going to roll another character, and maybe you would be dork, so I just wanted to see if you were covering your no, bases. No, I want to be a bear. I want to be a bear jabroni. What I want to do is give a shout-out to Jackie Butler, who streamed Jackie! Like 19, she streamed 19 hours yesterday, so I just left it on her all day long. And popped Thanks, Jackie. Jackie! Shout-out to Force and Eps with the Tier 1 sub. Thank you for gifting out that Tier 1 sub. And also, kind of funny, best friends, don't forget, we're don't working forget. our way up to that big Zelda Super. Super stream with one Nick Scarpino. We are currently so, 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 three out of ten monthly goals achieved, which means filling up the bar each and every weekday. Don't forget, you can fill up the bar. We'll go for the full extra hour with your support on Twitch and on YouTube. Of course, if you're over on YouTube, you can say hi. You can write in with your super chats, just like Silent Ninja did, and says, "Greg, how does Diablo tiers work?" compared to the division tiers of course that super chats help him fill up the bar super chats and gifted subs all help him fill up the bar on each side but greg tell me about the division tiers it's the same deal right where it's like you know world tier one is going to be the easiest and world tier two is going to be the, 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 the tougher and you go up and you get more xp and you get more gold and you gotta get yeah, 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 all good yeah, stuff yeah. Right now, for at launch with your base characters, you're only uh, uh, allowed up to two here. So you have to you know, be okay. the game and then you get okay, more okay. in there. Also, shout out to uh, Alex Weber Comedy for the tier one sub for 66 months. What up, Suburbanite Slob? How are you, homie? Uh, I'm on the move. Yeah, it'd be great if anybody was here to help me because, you know, the game scales, so these guys are tougher now that there's, you know. Four Where? of us here, but nobody's helping me in the ominous seven. Where are you? I'm in the ominous seven. Okay, I think you went in without us, so I'm mean, yeah, like, walk over, over, you know, and say, hey, where's the seller? There's the seller you come out. <laughs> it's easy. I'm in Costa though. Now, are we, are we helping you or the chat? Because if we're helping you, you got to tell us where you're going. I, you know what? I'm just saying we're helping each other. You know okay, I mean? okay, Somebody okay. walks, you walk. Thank you, Apropos, for showing up, you know? I'm on the move. It's interesting. I did this one with Jen last night. Or maybe I did a different. Okay. Oh, no. There's multiple exorcisms. That's right. No, this is a different. Oh, yeah. That's the cool part about that mission. I like that I one. I love the exorcisms. A lot of exorcisms. You got to exorcise them demons. K double J, thank you for the prime game. Sub for eight months and zip along with the five gifted subs today. Zip, thank you, along, zip along. Zip along like I know you do. Even when the Kevin's gone, zip along, zip along. Hurry, finish it. I'll finish the exorcism. Oh, right. Yeah, let's get this exorcism going right now. So after this, what do you want to do? You want to have Atropos over there drop a mission? We go chase whatever they're up to. They're 50 already. They're crazy. They're 50 already. I think we're in your world. So like yeah. whatever missions you got, we're going to do. Okay. So like if you want to do some like dungeons, I guess. Whatever sure. you whatever you need to do. Sure, sure. Absolutely melting this guy. Yeah, this guy's got it's embarrassing, honestly. You think you can get tough ghosts doing these exorcisms and yeah. stuff and you just get clowned out by us. Please, embarrassing. Please wake up. Wake up, sister! You think people die after the exorcism? Oh no, they came right back to life. I mean, Check you know, sometimes they do. We've all seen the some of those. Oh, be praised. Spice Runner, you get it. James Davis makes is in the chat. Of course, congratulations, James Davis makes on all your hard work. It's great to see you as well, homie. Give me just a moment, and I will meet you outside. You deserve a proper. I'm getting a proper thanks outside. Oh. Looks like Endless Dark has some missions to do. So Endless Dark. Endless Dark, call it, the ball. Pin it and grip it. Grip it and rip it, Endless Dark. Yo, sis, what you got to say? Mm -hmm. Yes. Get that XP. I got that XP. I got that gold. I got that XP. And I'm ready to party, doggy dog.
So endless, we're looking for a pin from Endless, right? Yeah, let's see where Endless Dark puts a pin. What a game, Mike. Endless Dark going all the way up to the tippity top, Greg. I'm traveling over there right oh now. Oh my gosh. To the tippity top of the map. We got it. Base Demon Live giving some, getting some Twitch ads, unfortunately. Don't forget, if you're subscribed right now over on Twitch, you do not have to watch any ads. You'll get the ad-free viewing, and especially with convention season coming up. We got a lot of summer showcases full of awesome video game announcements and trailers and reveals. You don't want to miss out on the fun. Of course, we'll be doing live reactions to all of those throughout this summer week, and uh, you definitely want to be subscribed so you don't have to watch any weird ads with Billie Eilish talking about Photoshop. I hate and weird And Twix ads, trying to sell I you on Billie left or right Twitch. Exactly. Like, Base Demon Live said, oh, no, bladder leak ads. Like, what's bladder leak? Bladder, what's well, when you start peeing your pants a little bit. You got a little <laughs> oh, bit of leak. shit. For yeah, realsies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It oh, happens, man. Oh, man. That's a problem. And, and the reason you're being targeted for those ads is that you follow a streamer on this channel who's a bit older and uh, mm -hmm. sometimes has those problems. And his name is Nick Scarpino. I was going to say, who could that be? Who could that be? I'm excited to announce that next month in July, we are sponsored by Depends. And that is because of Nick's, <laughs> Nick's special. Uh, all right, Endless Dark. I'm following yeah. you, Jabroni. Freedom. Oh, man. you got Oh. Because I can use a portal to teleport right to you, can't I? I didn't yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm running back. I'm running back. I'm running back. Now, are those portals around? Yeah, there is a portal. Cover shot. Well, I'm, I I did the thing where I fast traveled over to a point, thinking I'm gonna be outsmarting them all. Here we go. Yeah, coming. When all you go. gotta keep is wrong, move along, move along, like I know you do. This convoy rocking through the night. Mike's got a big old convoy. Ain't that a beautiful sight? Now, Mike, when we mm -hmm. were excited for Diablo, super excited. Something you said was, "This isn't gonna make for a good streaming game." Yeah. Do you still feel that way? Oh yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent. The only positives that come out of Diablo streams are good conversations, Greg, and that's sure. where you and I were the best in the company with that. That's true. You know what I mean? Because we can that's talk true. about anything. We can talk about MJ. We can talk about Depends. We can just get lost in it. And that's what we're going to do today. We just got to get lost with the chat. And chat, this is where we're going to need you to kind of do a little bit of the heavy lifting. If you got questions for Greg, myself, if you want to just get lost in the sauce, lost in the conversation, this is it, right? Because this is the game where you just zone out. Yeah. And literally, I was going to ask you, like, what have you and Jen been watching while you played Diablo? Because I'm sure you two are not actually paying attention to the story, right? No, we're having conversations with each other. There's no watching yes. going on. We're not. That, oh. that, for me, that is very much a single player Diablo thing. Uh -huh. Has someone else up on the stream doing whatever. Yeah. This is yeah. yeah. favorite yeah. podcast. But for us, it's been a, actually a very nice way to catch up. Usually, you know, oh, at night, that's nice. we're so brain dead. You sit down, you, you, we get Ben to sleep, we sit down, we pop on. We talk, you know, either over dinner or once Ben's down. But then you're exhausted. You pop something on TV and we zone out. So we we're zoning out playing, but then we are having actual conversations, catching up, talking some game fast. What's going on? You know what just hit me, Greg? Today you came over to my desk. One of your yeah. friends made a really cool game. That's all about yeah. fun conversations and what yeah. ifs. Yeah. Perfect game to blend with this. To be honest with you, you know what you I mean. Use some, right some of those prompts. Use some some of those prompts and just have some fun. Well, let's get here. You know what? Let's get to a, a, a casual spot where we can go I love that. and read about it. Yeah, you know yeah, what? If you're cool with that, I think that's a fun idea. But 100%. let's jump in right now. We have. Oh my God! We got a wild one. This right. Um, <laughs> a different question than that one right there. Yeah. Um, 
Question for both of you. Will there be any parties you will be attending at SGF? Wherever the wind takes us, right, Greg? You know what I mean? The We've been invited to a lot. We've RSVP'd to a lot. The key to E3 slash SGF is to just RSVP to everything. Okay. okay no one okay, expects okay. you to come to anything. You just ah. got to RSVP for it. It's like we are SVP for a party, and our plane does. It, the party starts before our plane takes off. But we said yes, we'll be there. Because <laughs> it's like maybe we land and we can come to the very end of it. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? And then you got a bigger party invite for the same thing. We did. We are SVP exactly. to that. Uh huh. There's. If you look at your schedule, there's one block that has three different parties happening at once. Which Will one we make it to, to all three of those? None of those? Who knows? I That's summer game. That's LA, baby. That's We're LA. down there in Hollywood. You know what I mean? You think Bill Murray goes to every party he RSVPs for? Not a chance. Great call. Great call. My question for you, Greg, is who do you, who will be the first one to not attend? Which party do you think we all split up on? Or do you think we all stick together? I definitely don't think we all stick together. There's not a chance. Okay. Now. Wow, you know I mean? Greg, really? You don't think the, the first person not strong? attend? Probably be me, right? I'm sure that like- You we'll, think you'll tap? You're gonna wanna go to some party and I'm gonna, there's gonna be some cool industry person that invites me to a dinner or a drink. You know what oh, I mean? Oh, okay. Last okay. year, my favorite SGF meeting was uh, Scott Lowe and Shuhei Yoshida at Kohl's. You know what I mean? We just went there. That was at the Kohl's, the, the, the shopping center. The French Deep. No, the French oh, Deep okay. place. Oh, okay, I thought y'all were going to get some cool Mike. stuff. Okay. You guys are going going clothes shopping with Shu Aishida. That would be pretty dumb. Shu Shu wouldn't be caught dead in the polls, all right? <laughs> See how that man dresses. You don't think he's getting his button up some coals? No way. That is a that is a reputable place to go get a nice little button up for a special event. Coles is a weird one because you have like all sorts of clothes and then just be random toys and stuff. <laughs> and not even like you know. real to toys, like just random ass toys. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I haven't been to the Coles in forever. I'll tell you what, I think that the Coles, you know, in San Francisco, I went to and got all my jeans from. Yeah? Got my jeans from Coles. What are you wearing, SGF? What are you rocking? Because that uh, was, I, I did think of that last night, like, oh, I should have bought new books. I didn't do that, so. Yeah, like, how, how fancy are you going, Greg, is a great question. So for me, uh, I have two flannels, which yeah. I think are like, you know, hey, those are going out if I want to look a little nicer. Sure. I got the vintage Kellogg's sweater for a nice that, little I pop do like of that color sweater. right there. You got that uh, cock on it. looks great. I love Cornelius the cock is right. And so I'll show him off. And then I also have a couple of long sleeves. I probably won't. I think I have like one or two short sleeves, but mainly long sleeves. So pretty basic. I actually, Greg, I think the wildest one that people would hear, no shorts. Wow. Like shorts for the hotel room, but no like, oh, sure. Mike's wearing shorts sure. to your events right now. Yeah, that's good. That's a good one. I don't think people are ready for the yams. Like, I could bring no, them, but I won't. No. Oh, and I can finally say, Greg, I can say this. Okay. I, I say went. Say it, I believe it. I went to EA to go play Madden, and Ooh, guess what? Yeah. I didn't change in the parking lot just for you. Wow. <laughs> I wore my jeans the whole way through the car ride just for you two. Wow. That was a long car ride. It was 25 minutes. Oh, you must have been chafing with the one eight five minutes. 25 minutes in jeans. It was uncomfortable. It sucked, but I wore them. I appreciate you that. I, and John Madden appreciates that too. Ah, uh, shout out to Johnny please. Madden. <laughs> uh, how was Madden? Uh, Madden was very cool. So I am now able to talk about it, of course. Most importantly, Greg, hey, shout out. Josh Allen, the first ever Buffalo Bill to grace the cover. Wow. He is your cover athlete. That's super dope. And then on top of that, superstar mode coming back along with mini games as well so okay. really fun to play got to play that uh so the mini games are enjoyable uh, well there already was remember there was a long shot it was a long shot too. part three ne negative no long shot no long shot it's a long it's a long scott porter the pipes on that guy now greg what are you gonna wear to summer game fest I don't know. I was what are thinking you, about what are you vibing with what are you I feeling? was thinking about returning to shirts and ties for it. What? Yeah. Will you? Okay, let's I don't, let's take. I a don't want to look because you know I don't have an in between. It's either shirts and ties or it's I'm in my Jurassic World T-shirt, which I'm wearing right now. Correct. You're going jeans and a T-shirt. Is what I thought you would be going. Shirts and ties. Yeah. 
Why not step it up? You know what I mean? Why not throw it up? Maybe throw a jacket. You're maybe it's stepping it up. It's you're two nights. It's two it days. It's not like it's that long. I mean, do you wow. guys, guys want to, you know, go full shameless and we just uh, have y'all wear the kind of funny.com slash store merch just the entire time? I mean, I've done that thousands of times. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? He wears he, the X cast. I mean, it's the, like the summer I game love, God, that our, 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 you know, <laughs> uh, current good. stuff is all summer vibes. Yeah. And stuff. Yeah. Just wear the flip flops. Yeah. Uh huh. Or the slides. I'm sorry. The slides, everybody. How many jabronis will wear a shirt and tie there? Let, not let's many, take not let's many. take a guess between you and I. How many jabronis are showing up with shirt and ties there? See, that's the thing is, I think you'll see very few. So I would stand out and they'd be like, oh "How my many? Gosh. Three? It's Greg Miller. Zero? Nah, yeah, somewhere in there. So that, that's uh, right, yeah, somewhere in that that section. TD Wolfpack's going with four. TD Wolfpack, keep that in mind. Chat, keep your number in mind. How many jabronis will we see at Summer Games Fest that is rocking a T-shirt with? With tie, shirt and tie, shirt and tie, not a t-shirt with tie. T-shirt and tie, not many. Shirt and tie combo. I'm gonna go with shirt and tie combo. Now, real quick, Raleigh in the chat says, "Why not just a sports coat without a tie?" Well, I I don't run EA. I'm not I'm not a I'm not an industry executive like that. All right, that's a look that I'm not I'm not part of. You're not there yet. There's no in between for me. And again, it would I'm gonna get compliments if I dress this way. Then. People are going to be like, oh, man, that's great. No, that's kind of funny. Because that's the thing about me. Am I going to show up in sweatpants or am I going to show up in suit? You never know. Are you getting dice, Greg? Or are you getting hung over, Greg? And I will be hung over, Greg, but maybe I look like dice, Greg, you know? Okay, okay, okay. Something has happened Shirt and tie, Greg. That's a solid choice. That's a choice. I will not be doing that. I will not be okay, doing that. Okay, fair enough. What will Tim Gettys do? Bomber jackets. You know what I mean? Tim is pretty cool over the day as like Jordans. Yeah. Okay. How about Andy? The same fucking dirty ass jacket he always wears. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I feel like we're avoiding the true question is blessing. I mean blessing actually shows that up. Yeah, blessing that. will actually do you know I mean? nicely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's gonna be he's no gonna fun. do the thing I can't do, which is just look look he it, he will look great in what someone like considers casual. Jacket and yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Jean jacket, t-shirt, bang, he's got it. Okay, now, t-shirt, shirt and tie. Is this for everything, even the after parties, Greggy? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, wow. I mean, you're wearing a nice suit. You're looking good. You can't, you can't not, you know? But again, maybe I don't. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. I need so to get home tonight. Saying, you're not my oh, God, no. No, that's a, that's a tonight thing, even maybe tomorrow morning. I want everybody to know I'm packed. I'm ready to rock. Fair enough. Well, ready sure. To go. You just toss in whatever 100 thieves things in arms reach and you're ready to go. <laughs> you know me so well. <laughs> I did. I did. I'm I started for blessings uh, packing the schedule because it doesn't seem like he was uh, ready for tomorrow's schedule. If we didn't tell him that, Barrett, he would have come in tom tomorrow. No idea. We would have said, okay, we're all going to the airport. And he would have been like, I have to go home and pack. Like, that's how that was about to happen. That's embarrassing. That's he had no know. idea. This must be the cairn of the elders. So much defiled. It's a long shot. Like it's a long shot. Woo! Drew druids to rouse the dead. Lost, uh, lost archives. Thank you for the Prime Gaming sub and welcome in for first time subscribing with that Prime Gaming sub. Thank you. You all have to get a little bit closer. Thank you, Greg. Thank you. No problem. I like to keep the clan entertained. Yes, a lot of people, they think they're just in a clan. And that's the, you know, all right, well, we're done. Not, not Greg. Mm -hmm. Greg's in there. I'm still working. Greg's typing that's stuff. How, that's how, that's why you're a leader, Greg. It's true. Mm -hmm. That's why, that's how you're going to keep this Diablo clan alive for many days and months to come. <laughs> I hoped you would have just stopped there. Many, <laughs> many <laughs> days. <laughs> Uh, thank you to Just According as well for the tier one stuff for 79 months. Thank you, everybody. We've now cleared one fourth of the bar. It seems we're going for an extra 15 minutes. But if we fill up that bar, we're going to go all the way till 2 o'clock today with more Diablo fun. We got drops enabled. So if you're watching over on Twitch, you're getting those sweet drops from Rogue and Necromancers. You're going to get some sweet oh, gear. So. Mike, hold up one second. That's a great point. I, I left. I'm trying to unlock more Rogue stuff. 
Yeah, yeah, I left yeah. it on somebody else's earlier. Let me go change it. Okay, ours. make sure you're on ours. That's right. Uh huh. Uh huh. And then if yeah, you fill up that bar, we'll get uh, one goal closer to a Zelda yes. super stream. I have no idea what that means, but uh, uh, Mike, if you want to tell them in a second after I uh, answer this question, uh -huh. you guys are live reacting to SGF content from the studio. You won't be there in person, correct? Yeah. The plan is tomorrow we'll be live correct. reacting. Uh, we'll pretty much be live all day tomorrow uh, from Games Daily, uh, and then a little bit of uh, a longer post show to to kind of fill in time until SGF and then we'll live react and we'll do a post show breakdown on Gamescast and then the boys are immediately heading to LA afterwards. Mike, tell me about the Zelda Super Stream. Zelda Super Stream will be very similar to what you saw with Jedi Survivor. Nick Scarpino will be Ooh. playing Zelda for the first ever time and on top of that, he wants to let it out. He's going to sing some karaoke. There will be some people dressed up. There's going to be some fun characters. It's just going to be a big blowout stream. You know what you know would be Zelda. fun is uh, if you have Nick uh, write lyrics to some iconic Zelda songs. You know, cause oh, Zelda music, that's not bad. Not yeah. really a lot of like, uh, you know, vocals or anything, but uh, uh, a lot of iconic <laughs> Ocarina of Time music. Yeah, you could have him uh, make some lyrics for and sing that. That'd be fucking fun. Mike, I got great news for you. I'm 81% to the final three things for the Rogue Unlock or whatever. Oh, nice. There you go. Drops I, enabled right there. I already bro. got my drops last night for the daggers. Now I'm working on the Did you black get the horse boom. that Andy has? Did you get the horse? No, why? No, because you have to gift two subs, which I haven't done yet. And also, I have not unlocked mounts yet in the game because that's the okay. later thing. And Jen and yes. I have been doing side quests and just grinding. You and me are grinding, Mike. We're grinding. I we haven't even left the like, first oh, maybe, area. Maybe haven't they haven't played that much. Like, no, we've played a ton. We're just yeah. doing the fun stuff. We're not even worried uh -huh. about the mission. I'm straight up level 35, and I, I have only done three main missions. I need help. Mike, how are you feeling about the Xbox conference? Are you excited for that? I am, Greg. I'm very excited for that. There, you know, there's so much that we're hoping for. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that they can deliver. If not, hey, guess what? They're going to announce a new controller, and that's pretty you fucking love exciting. Controllers. I'll tell you what, this ex this controller, Barrett, it's got a see-through trigger. So Ooh. if you want to look underneath, it did look and really see cool. through. You can see things inside of it, and that's kind of neat. Okay, for well, the record, it did look really cool. Or be able to talk to, uh, into your controller like it's a walk and talk to you. I still do love that feature of that controller because <laughs> it annoys all my friends. Like over under on Persona 3 remake this Sunday at the Xbox conference. High, high likelihood. It will be your wow factor moment. Your wow. It won't factor. speak to me, but it will be the wow factor. It will be the oh wow. <laughs> Oh wow. That's that's, oh, wow. that's exactly oh, wow. how I'm gonna oh, wow. sound on Sunday to oh, wow. somebody. Oh wow. Oh wow. Oh wow. Did Nick work at IGN by the time that old Zelda trailer hit? Full we'll say thing was made. Oh yeah, Nick's been at uh, Nick's, Nick was at IGN for a long. Time. Nick founded IGN. Wow, he's a goat, a legend. That's why he's got that anal drippage we were talking about. <laughs> he yes, that's what we're talking about. If you're getting those Twitch ads, maybe you should look within. It's a long shot. Ooh. Red Leo, thank you for gifting out that tier one sub. Thank you, Red Leo. Shout out to T Rex can swim for the tier one stuff for 62 months. Thanks, T Rex can swim. Yeah, Greg, it's tough because I want to just talk to you all about the Xbox conference, but I guess I want to save it, but we won't really have a, a pre show, you know what I mean? So we might as well talk about it. But, like, Greg, let's be for real. They got to show Fable. You know what yes. I mean? Like, no more tease in this. No more of this jabroni stuff. Like, that's got to be there. Perfect dark. Like, most likely won't be there, but, like, that's got to be there. There's so many games that they've shown, and it's like, okay, well, like, where are we? Let's do this. Everwild, that's got to be there, Greg. Everwild. Let's just cancel that and never speak of it again. It's probably a better move. <laughs> so it doesn't have to be there is what you're saying, Mike. Like. Oh, I think Barrett, if it's not there this year, we we never talk about it ever again. 
You know, it just like magically disappears, and that that poor team never has to be questioned about ever. While do we see leader, state of decay? Uh, no, but that Whoa. would be another one that we'd like to see, Greg, for sure. Like to see state of the K three. What's this? Breathe out so I can breathe you in. Out of my head, Mike says. <sighs> Lee said, Ben, thank you for giving out those two tier one subs. Hey, y'all. We're working on it right now. Thanks for helping attack that bar today. Our so, Greg Way's going to have a comeback. What's up with Greg? What? You haven't been doing Greg Ways? Uh, Greg Ways uh, comes back with a 20 minute episode today. Should be uploaded, if oh, not live already, shit. because I turned it over to Cool Greg a while ago. I'll uh, tell you yeah. what, Greg. We yeah, got what? some great opportunities from some dope Greg Ways. Oh yeah, well did you, I mean, Kevin showed me that, uh, you know, walk and talk and setup we got. You I mean, know we I got, want to make use of that in the future. We got some vlog content on the way. I might even vlog the whole thing, you know what I mean? That's what I was saying. We walk around the airport, we interview people, we get thrown uh, out of the Let's airport. vlog next to Andy Cortez, see if he'll become our friend. You know what I mean? I'm so I mean, excited. No, he's not going to be. He's not going to be. <laughs> see, see if he'll talk to me. Stop it right there. <laughs> oh yeah, anyways, Greg Way's, uh, there's a 20 minute Greg Way up today. Love Chronicling that. the last four days. Out of my head, she said. Bear, were you ever into the Foo Fighters? Not really. No. I, I, I always enjoyed when their songs popped up on, uh, like, Guitar Hero and Rock Band. Sure, sure, sure. Now, Greg. Can I ask you a question about this game right now? No. Are you hitting the buttons in any particular so order? Or, like, are you actually thinking about the inputs as you're doing them? Or are you just absolutely <laughs> what smashing the What a fucking the mic question. Like, can we be real really quick right now? Like, are you actually doing the World of Warcraft? Okay, I do this spell into this spell. Cool down on this. Now I go back into this. Or are you literally just smashing all four buttons and just letting it happen? I am thinking about what I'm hitting, Mike. One thousand. You're really thinking about it. Oh, yes. this is Chad. Just saying, so you know, this is me right now. I imbue my arrows, fire those guys off, usually with the square barrage. After that, then of course I got to make sure do I have my little protective ghost around me, if not triangle on that. Then I get close to guys, drop the old R1 to get a trap down. Oh, I'm starting to die over there. You know, get up on L1. Uh huh. Uh huh. I'm I'm in it, man. I'm in tune with this game, all right? I'm glad that you're in tune. I'm glad that you're in tune. I'm, I mean, I'm glad you're not, because it's, it's fun that you can just have that much fun with you, Oh, you, you I know how Mike plays it. fighting games and skateboarding games. You know, oh, man. Answer. Okay, well, skateboarding games is different, because I only play skate. And skate rules, you know that. You know that skate rules. Um, but yeah, yeah, this is it. This is it. Just doing it. I'm, pro I'm probably going to drop a bunch of money to see the Foo Fighters here in Milwaukee, Jay Shaw says. Instead of the Foo Fighters coming out. I appreciated that as that sentence was happening, I thought Mike was saying it, like that he was going to go to Mill, and I was like, oh. I guess I can believe that. When he, as soon uh -huh. as that, I'm going to drop a lot of money, I'm like, yeah, that sounds like Mike. That's I've it. That's it. Never no, heard I him drop talk a about the Foo Fighters once in his life, but yeah, I guess I, I want to drop a lot of money and go to Taylor Swift, Greg. Sure. Concert looks like it's a ton of fun. It does. People are smiling, dancing. It's like, oh man, she's got a bunch of good songs, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. I've been saying it for years. A lot of good times. A lot of good times. Yo, hell's coming, man. Not yet. No, Mike. So you know, basically a weekend year Diablo Four career here. Yeah. Do you foresee this being uh, a destiny for you? Something you come back to? Seasons, all that jazz? You be part of it? Only if the seasons have something cool, like a new area, something to see. Right, okay. like the worst part about the seasons model is it's not actual DLC or like it's new not content. It's just yeah, like yeah. a we're having you run through the re new thing with like maybe some different tweaks to gameplay, sure, but like nothing that entices me of like, oh, this is new and exciting. And so yeah, probably not on this. Interesting. Uh, I bet you I roll two characters, 
close to max level, and then I probably will not return uh, until there's like full DLC. Gotcha. I'm not a big seasonal guy. What about you? Are you are you into the idea of that? 100%. I like the idea of coming back from or having a reason to come back. Uh, I'm hopeful it'll work for me, and I will. You know what we'll to see? I'm 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 there with you, right? Of like, well, let's see what we're up to and what we're into. This lady's nuts, man. Yeah. I don't know if you know about the lore of this lady, but this lady's wild, man. You don't know the lore of the She teamed up with Lilith, bro. She sold her soul, man. No! Because she Again? Was, Just like the mom? She <laughs> sold her soul to Lilith because she thought that the other, the younger generations of her clan got yeah, it off yeah. easy because her and her people, her the older generation, fought so hard against the demons to put them back. And all now these young kids, they don't got to do nothing. And so yeah. she sold yeah. her soul to Lilith to say, hey, the strong will survive. They'll figure it out like we did. And gotcha. until then, let them die. That's a joke. It's like, lady, you can't do that. You know what I mean? You can't do that, lady. It's one of those, I don't like it, but I got to respect it. You know what I mean? Tough love. I'm doing it to Ben a lot lately, so she's uh -huh. glad to see she's doing it. Whoa! Let go, let go! What a game, Mike. What a good game, Greg. It's a phenomenal video game. Wild that we had to wait 10 full years. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's yeah. like Grand Theft Auto where it's like, oh man, you have a really good video game. That sucks, I have to wait so long. I was talking to Jen about it when I'm like, I'm like, if it follows the same release schedule, think about it this way, the next Diablo, Ben will be playing with us. Good God. That's fucked up. Hopefully, hopefully right. that will not happen. They know they have a hit on their hands and they have to come back now. But so I mean, that's, that's the thing where if it, this is, it's, it's their biggest game yet. It's all the success. So like, why wouldn't you just keep adding the content to it? Do they, they already have, you know, I heard on the kind of funny X cast, they already have two expansions in the works. They're doing the seasons and stuff. And that stuff makes money. They're going to stick like, with it. Yeah, but in all honesty, what, what do you get? You get three to five years out of that kind of model, right? Before people start to ask, when's the new new? Give me sure. something new, right? You can't you can't go ten full years. Only a couple of games have actually been able to do that model. And even those games get asked all the time, yo, when's that new new? What have you done for new? Exactly. Oof. Now, Mike, what's your drink of choice going to be at SGF? Margaritas all day. Nice, okay. Summer's here. The sun is out. If you're not drinking margaritas, just get out of my face. Yes. Don't tell me you're going to drink some, like, heavy beer, right, Greg? What are you going to drink? Well, it's like, it depends on the event. Okay. We okay. have a lot of meetings at a brewery. <laughs> there's, there's a brewery at SGF. There's a lot of things going on there. So it's like, okay. I'm going to be drinking beers, but I'll be working. I'm not going to be, like, pounding. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. At night, I'll be pounding. But that's usually just a straight bourbon, bourbon up, bourbon ice. Yes. But I could be, I could be giving this to a, a, a martini here. If you're going okay. to the bar and you're like, I'm getting another margarita, I'll get, I'll get on the Mark train. You get on the Mark train with me? Oh yeah, Mark train on ice. Get some salt on the rim. Let's go. Sure, sure. Die. That lady got wrapped up right she there. She got, she got what's coming to her. <laughs> this. Yeah. Cooper in the chat says, Mike, quote, I'm not watching any of the cinematics. Also, Mike, lays out the lore like a champ. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Coop. <laughs> right, great job on that one, squad. Look at us. Endless Dark. Hope you're getting them getting them missions completed, my guy, because we're doing it with you. Doing it, doing it, doing we it. We also have help. done one-fourth of the bars we near. The 12.30 mark of the day. Don't forget, we can go till 2 o'clock if we fill up the bar with your support through subs and Super Chats. Having some fun. Just got back from a wedding and was introduced to a New York sour. It's like a whiskey sour with a splash of red wine on top. Actually, not huh. that bad. What do you think about that, Greg? That's an interesting one. I, had, I didn't see that coming for sure. Okay, some jabroni just teleported me. Oh, he's trying to complete these missions. You That's why you. I haven't done a lot of story missions because you have to have the whole squad next to each other as sure. opposed to anything else where it's like, Greg, you can go spend five minutes 
breaking down all your stuff while I just run and murder, you know? Big fan of that. Let's see. Breaking Mike, here's down. a question from the chat. Lay it on me. Blurry says, Greg, and Mike, I'm going to throw you in there. Does Diablo 4 beat Tears of the Kingdom for you? What do you say, Mike? For, like, game of the year or just my personal preference? Yo, bro, he asked the question. You interpret and you Okay, answer. here's the deal. No, it does not. Tears of the Kingdom is a really freaking dope video game, and I am having a blast with it. Would I rather play Diablo all the time? Yes, but Tears of the Kingdom, game of the year. Game of the year. Yeah, I think I'm in a very similar spot where I, what's great about Diablo is you can. I, I feel like in Diablo, I can jump in and I can play one mission and move on and be done whereas tears is so awesome and so much shits in there and there's so many crazy ass shit go things going on and you have to think and you have to do all this stuff diablo can be an invested in story game it can be a fun multiplayer game it can be mindless it can be whatever you want it to be which is what i'm craving right now uh but i mean in terms of what tears of the kingdom is doing tears of the kingdom is game of the year it w will it at the end of the year be my favorite game of the year i don't know no no can we talk about you know tears of the kingdom greg you yeah. know what I mean? I'm just not finding the fun in the combat yet. Yeah. I have yeah, found yeah, yeah. a lot of love in the puzzle solving, yeah. in the building dope stuff, running around and exploring. I just have not found the true love and enjoyment out of the combat. I think like there's moments where I'm like, oh, like that was cool, but like nothing where I'm ever like, oh man, like I'm going wild with this combat right now. I agree with that so far for me too. Where it's, I'm, I don't look forward to the combat. I look forward to the shrines. I look forward to all these other things, the puzzle solving of it. If yeah. I'm in that mood. But I did try to fight a lion bear, just so you know. Oh, you found another Lionel? I found one and I was like, we're about yeah. to square up. Yeah. I fought a and blue then, one the other day. It was fun. He absolutely dominated my life. <laughs> <laughs> Mike yeah. can't just press buttons in Tears of the Kingdom. Okay, well, also my weapon is breaking after every attack, so you know there's not much Make going on. Make better weapons guys. then. Barrett, I'm on a journey of exploration, not weapon finding. Okay, <laughs> I'm out here exploring the world. Let's fight all the Bacoblins and the Moblins and the Lionels. Let's go. You got the Moblins and the Moblins. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, where are we going, Endless Dark? Put the pin down. Put the pin down, Daddy. You are caught in pain and you death. You are caught in pain. <laughs> Mike, do you like combat? You said you just spam buttons to spice your... <laughs> When I zone out to Diablo, that's how this goes. <laughs> I love zoning out to Diablo. <laughs> So, Mike, are you actually fusing weapons when you're uh, using combat? Or are you just picking up stuff and uh, just using it? I'm fusing on? some weapons, but nothing. I haven't fused anything that wowed me, right? I think I'm, I'm very beginner on the fusing side of things, right? Like, fuse a rock to a claymore, beat down other rocks. Cool, that's exciting, right? Fuse this and that, make a longer pull. Okay, that's interesting. I haven't fused anything where I'm like, yo, combat has changed the name of the game. You know what I mean? When it comes to sticks. Now, if I fuse some cool stuff on top of little motorized doom buggies, yeah. Is that dope? Yeah, pretty cool. You know what I mean? Greg, are you going to go for the level 50 hardcore trophy? I, I would really like to try Platinum in Diablo, and I think I mm. love the game enough that that will be in my future, so I, I would definitely be that day. looking to your help for that. Give me a call on that. Whenever you want to get down on that, I'm in, Greg. Hardcore has spoken to me. There's something about hardcore that's got me really excited. You know, Andy said earlier when he came in, it was just shooting the shit that he'd be down for, like, a, a, a large hardcore stream. I would totally be down if we can yeah. find a time on the thing where it's a, you know, I can hang out with you guys and come in here. Again, maybe it's one of those days where Nick is just dripping endlessly and can't stop. You guys got to get him out of here. Just so much drip. He's just peeing. He doesn't want to. That's the problem, you know? You can feel it. It's electric. Boogie, woogie, woogie. I'm 
guys, I don't want to fight you. I want to get to my friends. They're all the way over there. I wasn't paying attention when they left. I think I've missed someone, y'all. Can't tell where Endless Dark is going. See the one kid who lost his level 100 character because the game disconnected? I did not see that. That's, That's exciting. a wild one. Let me guess, PC. Possibly. You hate to see it. You hate to see you it. Hate to see it. But again, God only punishes the wicked. Base, Barrett, I'd like you to shut the fuck up and just be with me for a second, all right? I'm sorry, Greg. I'm just like you know, I'm just a hardcore PC gamer now. I, I know you was, are. I know you I are. Right now. Hey, thank you. I had to go into the depths of my PC because uh, something was making a noise the that bias. was very scary, and uh, yeah, I gotta like replace my liquid uh, cooler for the CPU. Oh, imagine that. Nightmare. Learned a lot Jesus last night. Christ. You know what I mean? Imagine I, that nightmare. Dude, I, Greg. I gotta, I gotta perform surgery on this thing next week. I have, like yeah. things to edit at home. I don't want this computer playing. Up. You think Andy would help you? No. No, actually, Andy did help last night. I went to him. I was like, dude, I can't figure out the source of this fucking noise. Please give me any recommendation. And sure shit, the first thing he recommended that helps me figure out what it was that was uh, borked. Oh, that's so nice. Now, Greg, Rooster writes in with a super chat. I don't know how in tune you are right now with it. Of course, there's still changes to be made. But it says, hey, Greg and Mike, what are your thoughts about the new Twitch policy updates with sponsors and how that affects kind of funny? Question mark. Uh, yeah, we're paying attention to it. Obviously, we saw, like everybody else yesterday, them make a bunch of announcements or at least somebody else break out of something, a bunch of announcements. Uh, you know, we don't know anything more than you do. Uh, obviously... If that's all true and that's all the real deal, that all sucks. That's that's dumb. But uh, it's their platform if they want us, and we'll have to uh, figure it out. Good answer. Very good answer, right there, Rooster. Rooster, of course, we're keeping eyes on that. Now, Rooster, it's it's funny you're so concerned about that, but you know you're just letting Michael Jackson off the hook. <laughs> yeah. Barrett, don't know if you missed it. You I know. did miss whatever big, the fuck that called. Big call conversation was. being had today in the clan over here, you know, the kind of funny uh, Diablo clan. Big conversations being had. <laughs> Barrett, know what, you have you have know a sip of Starbucks coffee and they will they will run you out of town. Nineteen ninety nine, we're all like, whatever, it's Michael Jackson. You know, I just fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> What you got for us, Endless Stark? I think Endless Stark wants us to choose where we go now. Oh, well, we're, uh, we're on top of this one, right? Let's do this one. The Void of Passing. Mark the resting sites of the Lost Hunters. All right, Greg, you're you're in charge of... Because everybody's got different missions here. So, yeah, whatever well, you got, we're following you. I'm looking for some Lost Hunters here, all right? We're inside the circle now, so we're just looking for Lost... <gasps> Banshee! Jan on the moon. Thank you for the Tier 1 sub for 42 months. What up, Jan? Mike, do you ever play this game and mean you know, like, what a fucking video game, but then also kind of mourn the fact that Marvel Heroes is gone? Man, what a good time that Marvel Heroes was, Greg. What a... Can you imagine if it was still around, the cost? What a getting, cool time that was, Greg. That was a fun time, man. Uh, yeah, I play this and I go, man, I freaking love this game. Snakes! I had that crazy moment where, like, you know, I was reflecting on my life, Greg. Yes. Yeah. You know, sometimes you just... Were you out looking over the ocean? Down just Santa Cruz or something? Just out there, just driving down the one. You know what I mean? Uh, actually, Greg, went to Stinson Beach, had another great one. Took Roger and Lienza first time down the Stinson Beach. Wow. Beach had a great time at Park Cafe. Oh, big, you gotta go eight, to Park come Cafe. Come on, man, Greg. You gotta go to Park Cafe. Love like Park Cafe on the beach, dude. It was great. Then they, you know, they got a little intimidated by the 13 mile hike, but like I wasn't. You know, I mean, I did, did they walk it? Did you do the hike? Uh, we, you know, I, I started lying to them to keep their emotions high, you know what I mean? Because, like, <laughs> we got probably a mile in, and I was like, hey, everybody, two miles, great job. And they're like, how do you know that? I was like, I'm tracking it on my phone, don't worry. We, <laughs> we got probably three miles in. I was like, everybody, halfway there, incredible job, y'all, really good stuff. And then we tapped out at about four. We tapped out at about four. Gotcha. You're trying crazy. to keep those spirits high. <laughs> I love it. You're crazy. I got them. Just love lying to Roger. Well, it's like I really wanted to see these waterfalls. <laughs> Not gonna lie to you, I really, really wanted to see the waterfalls. Understandable. Everybody loves a waterfall. Also, I've been gone for a while, but Greg, I am uh, yeah. 
almost halfway through season four of Secession. Hell yeah! Is he enjoying himself? Oh yeah, having a real uh, fun time. But Checking in a, on a like fun disgusting. time watching all this, this horrible yeah. people. Oh yeah, just absolutely <laughs> terrible people. But it's it's fun to watch them tear themselves apart. Totally, it's totally fucking awesome. Um, love checking in with my disgusting Thanks brothers. You know, the disgusting right. brothers, disgusting brothers on fucking door. <laughs> it's gonna be us down at SGF, Mike. I can't wait, Greg. I'm gonna I'm gonna meet every single person in that building. I want you to know. There will not be a single jabroni at SGF that I do not come up and introduce myself to and find out a little bit about their I'm life. I'm glad I that. don't go to events with you, Mike, because I've heard the stories of, like, just anybody you know you'll latch on to and then you'll tell them, all right, we're going to we're gonna go introduce ourselves to everybody yep. in this room. Every single person. That's right. Like, yeah, no. Shout out to Good. Tom. Tom from uh, the UK, wherever you're at. You know who you are, Tom Hopkins. Um... <laughs> Shout out to Tom in the UK. <laughs> Shout out to Tom. Uh, well, he's from the UK. You know him. You know him. Uh, he's from the UK. Tom saw the me. PR? Uh, uh, no, he works in games journalism. Tom Hopkins. Okay. He's a kind of funny best friend. You've met him before. You met. Yeah, him no, I know Tom Hopkins. When you'd give me okay. a last name, yes, I, I the Tom I know in PR who's from the UK is also a real person. <laughs> What's his last name? I forget. Okay. I gotta look at my email. <laughs> uh, and so I looked at Tom, Tom. If you're in the UK and you do PR, you know who you are. <laughs> I, I told Tom, I said, we're going to go meet every single motherfucker in this building. Get ready. And he said to me, do we have to, Mike? I said, yep, get ready. Here we go. So I look forward to it. It's going to be a good time. That's why Tom Hopkins is no longer in the industry. <laughs> <laughs> the day after. Uh, shout out to Lenart, who gifted out five to him. So thank you so much. Thank you, oh, Lenart. So, and I got this right, right, Mike, that I got to give two subs and then I get the horse? Two, two subs, but not here. Only on certain channels. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. They, you have to be invited to do that. Who didn't invite us? I, I have no idea. I never saw an invite come out. Andy saw an invite, though. He's on it. Of course he did. I hate him. Yeah, you got to go see Andy. Hit, hit it's Ferguson. very weird. Andy Andy allowed to do Twitch bounties, stuff like that. My, I can't do any of that. You know what I mean? So That's I, kind I, of funny. I, I have no idea. Mike. That's Snow Mike Mike. You know what I mean? I can't do any of that. Well, so I don't get to see a lot just, of things. If you just stream from home, it's kind of funny. I mean, you make us then money, I, and then you can make you more money, and then money with money. And I don't know. I love that idea. Economics, and then they check, <laughs> check them down. Economics, baby. I don't, you know, I don't it, know if that works. Today. Pyramid scheme. Well, you know, it's one of those things. Barrett, what was interesting there is that you said, "I don't know if that works." And do you know how you test a hypothesis? You test you it. Do it. And so you do it. maybe if you tested it, you could come back and say, I know that doesn't work. Mm. <laughs> or you find out, you know what? Goddamn, that worked. Okay, and let then, me rephrase. I know that doesn't work, Greg. Well, you know what? Look at our disagree. Agree to disagree. Look at our economy the last 50 years, Greg. I don't think it works. Yeah, that's the economy. That's not Twitch streaming. Yeah, that's the economy. Totally. I just think it, it, uh, the idea as a basis for anything, you know? Mm hmm. I, I look forward to seeing Khalif Adams. Me and Khalif, we could go talk to anybody in the building, you know what I mean? That's going to be exciting stuff. Look forward to seeing Khalif. Greg, how many new people do you think you meet at these conventions every single year you go? I'll tell you what, there are how many so new people? many fucking jabronis at all these things, you know what I mean? Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm doing this because of you, Greg. Great, I take a drag of my cigarette, I flick it in my face. <laughs> I say, you review a first-party PlayStation game, then I'll talk to you, all right? You're nothing to me. <laughs> Tom from the UK, Jerry from New York, I don't fucking care. <laughs> Tom! <laughs> no, you know, it's going to be interesting, you know, because SGF, I think, it feels like it's bigger this year. I don't know if it actually is. Uh, it feels like it's going to be a bigger cast of characters okay. there. So we'll yeah, see. yeah, yeah. I'm excited to see how big this is, is right? Yeah, what, you didn't get to go last year. Like? Yeah, I have no idea what this could look like is right. Me and Jeff Keighley will be tight by the end of it. You know what I mean? I, sure. I can guarantee that. I can guarantee that. Greg, where are you taking us? I'm going to take us uh, just down south here to the Stolen Artifice. We're going to take the runic charm from Daryl. Darcel. 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 Darcel's brother, Darcel. Okay. Going on down to Darcel. Going to have my time. Now, that was the South Park theme, but I changed one word next time. Mm -hmm. Now, Mike, at some point, we got to eat these goddamn wraps, too. Where's the wrap at? They're at my feet. Oh, right. <laughs> Whoa. Let's run them in at one point, brother. We'll let, you know, we'll let, we'll let Darcel rap for a bit. Mm-hmm. 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 
We are nearing the halfway point of the bar already right now. We're at 1230, which means we have 45 more minutes left on the stream, but we can make it an hour. We can make it a whole 90 minutes with your support. If you want more Diablo 4 fun with myself, Greg, and you, the community, of course, you can subscribe. You can super chat with your questions, comments, and concerns. We can continue to have some fun before we head off to Summer Game Fest. Also, don't forget that tomorrow is Summer Game Fest. Live reactions. We'll have a pre-show. We'll have the reactions. We'll have a post-show with the game's cast crew. And you can be watching live on YouTube and on Twitch throughout all of the fun. And the cool part about this right now, I'll let you know, you don't want to watch ads. Okay, nobody wants to be interrupted during the biggest summer games announcements. So if you're watching over on Twitch, you'll get ad-free viewing. If you subscribe, if you gift out subs to your best friends, they'll be able to get ad-free viewing. And then you won't have to watch those ads throughout all of the biggest summer events. You're goddamn right, Mike. I'll tell you what, Greg, just making sure people know, because I don't want to see poor Flippy Flop 29. Oh, be like, oh, man, Flop. I'm watching a Kit Kat bar <laughs> announcement during freaking gameplay of Armored Core 8. You know what I mean? Who knows what could happen here? Damn, they, skip seven. They, they, they just even went right there. <laughs> <laughs> they just skipped it off. Now, Greg, we do have to talk about one thing. Sure. The Blessing yeah. Show and just how good it was. So good. Shout what out to the Blessing show. show. And great also job, Blessing Raj. Shout out to Blessing and Roger for just giving me flashbacks to just that insane Koch Media presentation that we all yeah. watched. Yeah. yeah. Where yeah. they were just in cubicles at a giant corporate building. It was and no it one was had COVID. ideas of what was happening. We were all trying something different, you know? And I love I appreciate the chat because I, I had it pulled up at home and I was I had chat up on my on my phone. And I appreciate that when that story was brought up, everybody was uh, put in chat. Mm -hmm. Tim knows what he did. Yes, Tim knows what he did. We talked about that. That's because Tim skipped it. And uh, we were not pleased that Tim yeah. did not partake yeah, in the we nightmare that was that. Because yeah. if you remember, I dialed in from L.A. Like, I, I stopped doing <laughs> oh, my E3 man. rehearsals for the year because they were like, oh, we got to come. I'm like, oh, man, they're going to have something good. I'm like, oh, man. And then we got there and it was just trash. Turns out, <laughs> turns out that was a nightmare. I have the largest army of bears and wolves chasing me. You wouldn't even believe it. Oh, yeah, I left you guys. I'm, I'm alive. To go turn I'm stuff alive. In, you know? I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> I survived somehow. Oh, everybody's got food now. Mm, We're that's all a great call. We some Ikes. Oh, nice. You're always getting nice. I appreciate that about you. Act Reactor asks, it would be interesting to see how Mike breaks the ice with everyone in the building. Greg, what's your go-to icebreaker when you're meeting a new jabroni? Yo, can you believe I you let Michael Jackson off the hook? <laughs> 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 Knew I was going right into that one, didn't I? <laughs> Should have saw that train coming at me, Chad. <laughs> I, you know, uh, usually, I, you know, I don't go out of my way to talk to a lot of people like you do, you know? That's wild. I go right up to them. I, you know what I did last time? I said, yo, I mean, what up, everybody? I'm Mike. What's your name? What do you do? Yeah, I mean, hey, if anything, yeah. Like if, if, when it, if I'm in a, like a group area, it'll be put out my hand. Hey, I'm Greg. How are you? You know what I mean? Like, that's you know, how I'm going to start. Oh, you put out your hands? I shake hands, yeah. No, no, you dap people. Dap I don't people. dap people. That's dap a you people. thing. That's a you thing, all right? <laughs> dap people. All right. What you got, Greg? Mike, got new if missions? I didn't know you and you came yeah, up to me like that, spin and spin and at an event, I'd be scared that like you were like the like the programmer for the event, like the guy leading the event. I'm like, oh, God, okay, why are you talking? Because you have that kind of energy, especially if you're going up to being like, what's your name? What do you oh do? Oh my like, God! Like, why do you why do you want to know? Yeah, you're PR. Should, should I do something fun, Barrett? Where maybe I got a microphone in my back pocket and be like, no. hey, Jeff just sent me over. Said you're giving the keynote speech I'm right now. We're gonna need you up in five. Bad. Should I start? For fun. It'd be a fucking hilarious TikTok oh, video. Oh man! But like, let me tell you. <laughs> Let's maybe not push that line. Oh man, we could have some fun pranking people. That could be a good time. Now, Mike, are you prepared? Because you're going to be a pretty big deal at this thing. Because everyone, oh, everyone will, everyone will, nobody, everyone will have watched the Phil Spencer interview. Uh, you so, know, like, people are going to know you. You're going to be a big deal now. I'd like to not even think about that because I'm just some random jabroni off the street. Like, you know, people are like, hey, how'd you get here? I'm like, I have no idea. You know, sure, nobody. Sure. Well, you, next, you can just point at me and say, I gave it to you. I did everything. Okay. I'll just say that. Pretty simple. You know my boss, Greg. You should go talk yep, to him. Yep, 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 yep. 
I do usually say, hey, I work for Kind of Funny. My boss is Greg Miller. And then people usually smile and they go, I know that guy. You're the most social, non-social person that guy. I know. <laughs> met, a, met a very nice jabroni who said very nice things about Greg one day. Who was it? His name was Arthur. And he was a really cool Oh, Arthur Geese. Yeah. Very nice guy. Very nice guy. And he's got lots of reasons not to say nice things about me. So it's good to know that he's... <laughs> uh, 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 came back. I'm salvaging my junk. Get that junk done. I got my junk out. Now, Chad, no. I got a problem. I just, like, I don't know what I'm building towards. I saw Cooper last time I was playing with him. Greg, he had this cool fire snake. He was doing a lot of damage. I'm out here... A lot of lightning, and it just, yeah. it's not doing much. Okay. You know what I mean? If I'm not in a group setting, I'm not doing much. I need time to do that. Really? Because yeah. he was all like, ah, oh, I did Mike's thing, and I loved it. I felt so much more, I, he's like, it, it was more fun than being a rogue. And I was like, that is some garbage. Maybe. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That I will, me and the other rogues will remember you turned yeah. your back on us. <laughs> exactly. Because I'll tell like, you like, what, I saw Joey. The says, Mike, it's just because you're button mashing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I I'm just hitting buttons and I'm not having a great time. It isn't working out. Though. I thought I, would, I should Mike, be having more fun. Do you like this. this game? I'm having a great time, Barrett. You know what I mean? I'm here and I'm present, and having a good one, y'all. Colin, why you got to put me on blast like that today, Colin? <laughs> why you got to do me like that, Colin? <laughs> uh, all right, let's see. Where's I'm picking my, a dungeon for us. That's my squad. I'm, yeah, put a dungeon down, Greg. Let's I, I, get real. I, I already tagged it, but right now I'm just doing some quick uh, inventory management. You that's know, that's great. A big, part of the game. big part of the game. Yeah, let's get let's get real. Let's get real. To be Crush real. Nick, thank you so much for the tier one stuff for two full years. What up, dude? Good to see you in the chat. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the support. Thank you for that, my friends. Oh, this is a good one. Let me flash on. It says, shout out to all the rogues out there, Greg, and Ultimate yeah. Alliance 3 for being an okay video game. I liked Ultimate Alliance 3. Oh, Ultimate, Ultimate Alliance, Ultimate 3, Alliance was 3 was a fun game. Yeah. yeah. It wasn't, it was not Diablo. No. But. Well, it, yeah. Uh-huh. But it was A little fun. different yeah. vibes. Well, yeah, yeah, but I mean, you know, action RPG, that's what I, I assume that's why it's coming up in conversation right now. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. But yeah, I, 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 I'd like to see a fourth. Not I would lie. love I'd like to, to, I'd see, like a to see a fourth. I would not only would I like to see a fourth, I'd love to see them uh, not port put three. Yeah, not which trap I know, it I on the switch. I would what a no, nightmare. I would, I would love for them to bring back the first two because they like released them digitally on the last generation of consoles, and then they took them off all the storefronts. Yeah, yeah. I, really, I have I them. They're back compatible. On my Xbox. I, I really loved um, Ultimate Alliance two mm. back in the day, having like Deadpool and Spidey. Civil War, right? Yeah, Civil War. Mike, what are you doing right now? I'm heading towards your pin. Okay. I think. I saw a yellow pin. I'm I don't I'm think you're yellow. your sandwich over to you, all right? All right, slide it on over to me while I read my good friend Victor Paul's message. He says, pre-ordered pre Diablo 4 from Best Buy. It's delayed. Won't get here till maybe the 15th with my ROG ally. Mike, Raj. now I'm going to swipe... What are we? Uh, is that what we're calling it, the Raj ally? That's How about what I'm we just call it the Asus have... ally? I was gonna the say Asus? that's just him fucking with you. <laughs> yeah, no, but I like to call it the Raj ally because we okay. have someone in our company named Roger who we call Raj very frequently, and I want someone again to make a custom faceplate with Roger's mm. face all over this thing. I love that. Love that, uh, Mike. Now I'm about to swipe the card and get it digitally. Vic, I love that. You know what I mean? Play now. Don't make Best Buy make you wait, what, another eight days, my dude? That's just, that's outlandish, bro, bro. Everybody's you play this game on. now and have Everybody's going to move on in eight days. You got you to gotta catch up. Um, Greg is fighting for his life to try to keep this clan alive for more than 24 more hours, okay? <laughs> um, Damn, yeah, something similar with uh, Tears of the Kingdom where I pre-ordered the like special edition uh, physical version. Um, but it was going to come late, so I just got it digitally. And then uh, to kind of include with the, the whole plan of giving my dad my old OLED Switch, I'm just going to give him the physical copy that finally came. So. Ah, smart. Yes. So Have you ever I'm licked saying, a Switch Victor, cartridge? Uh, Victor, uh, maybe, you know, uh, whenever that di uh, physical copy comes through, maybe uh, gift it to a friend or something. Oh, there you go. What 
were you asking about uh, Switch cartridges, Mikey? Did you ever lick them? No, I remember. I remember I distinctively day, though, back in the day at IGN, Alana uh, recording her reactions to Lickin. Mm. That was a big deal. Yeah. Kevin likes to buy his Switch games physical only, so he can still lick each and every one of them to see if they still taste nasty. Yeah. You think they still do? He got Tears of the Kingdom, still taste nasty. Okay. They're hitting hard here. We got a lot of we got a lot of guys. Goatmen not afraid to fight for their area. You know I appreciate I mean? it. I respect it. World events. What a cool idea. Good job inventing that Diablo. No one else has done it before. It's a big deal. Guild Wars never heard of it. Get out of that's a game right there. Guild Wars. Greg, you ever play that? Uh, here and there, Steimer, used to, uh, you, Steimer was obsessed with it. Really? Yeah. I wanted to be obsessed with it. When I was chasing that WoW dragon, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah. man, I want to try this Guild Wars, see if it's got the juice, and just never did. It was a world I just didn't, I wasn't interested in, yeah, sadly. Had a cool looking, some cool looking characters. I'll give it that. Yeah, I hosted at PAX one year. They're like big, like, here's what our next year of content is going to be. And like, they, it was awesome. The community was great, but. For me personally, it was never one that I could get. And plus, you know, a PC. Uh, shout out to Kane292 for gifting two tier one subs. Thanks, Kane. Getting us ever closer to the halfway uh, mark on our Uh, DJ in the chat says, going to remote play this from LA, Greg? Uh, I am bringing my backbone. Uh, I don't know how good hotel Wi-Fi will be. And also, historically, you're never in your hotel at an event like this. Thanks. We're going to go. Jesus. We're going to play games all day. We're going to drink margaritas all night being like, yeah. wake up, do it again. So I think, honestly, what it will probably be is if you want some real fun times, uh, be ready to play Diablo at like 8 a.m. Saturday morning. Or Sunday morning. Because I bet we land from the airport, we come straight here, we have time to kill. And I wouldn't even be surprised if we started streaming it, Mike. You and me in here streaming it. Greg? It's a great idea. A Do that. Lead idea. on into the Xbox conference. Have a great time. Let's do another fun follow-up, Greg. How are you going to stay fresh during a long day out on the town? Will you have a fanny pack with some deodorant in it? Will you just ride the lightning, Greg? I am in most of our schedules, I've budgeted it in. A, you can go home and do get get changed up for sure on Saturday nights events. Okay. Uh, maybe not as much on Friday, but I think we're just gonna go to Giant Bomb and stick their place up. So it doesn't matter. But no, no fanny pack for me. I, I, the deodorant usually isn't a big deal for me. You can tell me if I'm wrong on this one, please do. Obviously. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna That's keep. I'll, I'll, I'll keep tabs on you. Not a big concern for me generally. Okay. But if something's going awry, I need to know. Yeah, I don't know if you've heard, but the um, the voice actor uh, for Jimmy Pesto from Bob's Burgers has officially been arrested for his involvement in the January 6th <laughs> Jesus. Wow, Jimmy Pesto like that, bro. Oh, yeah. Wow. Um, Man. That was rumored like around like uh, only like a few months after uh, January 6th. And uh, it was pretty evident in the last couple of years. I, like, I don't think we've seen Jimmy Pesto in the last like season and a half. Thank you for saying that because I've been watching a lot of Bob's Burgers lately. I went so good. I will keep an eye out for that because I haven't noticed that. But now that you say that, it's like, oh, huh, I just the watched kids. the latest we season. The I have not the seen. Time. I don't think we've seen Jimmy. I've not seen Jimmy. Okay, interesting. I'll keep an eye out for that one. Jimmy. I love Jimmy Pesto though. He was very funny. Good character next to Bob. Great world, Bob Burgers. Ah! 
Jimmy Pesto, not Jimmy Pesto Jr. Jimmy Pesto Jr. is voiced by um, H. John Benjamin. He voices like a third of the characters in that show. This is his Bob voice, but slightly pitched up. Now, Greg, have you touched your chips at all? I've had a chip here or there. You've had a chip there, here or there? Okay, good. I don't want to eat on camera, you know? Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Nick laid down that rule and then proceeded to break it immediately. What a surprise. <laughs> you know what I mean? Nick laid down that rule and immediately just started eating right in front of everybody. Maybe after this mission, I'll abscond from the group, Mike. It'll turn over to one of these kids. They can play with you. Then I'll come back. You abscond from the group. I rejoin. There you go. Mm, mm, you I, got I think these kids is just blessing outside. What? They're talking about Transformers more than meets the eye. No. I watched that movie, Greg. It was very, it was very quiet when I went out there to grab my Ikes. Just blessing standing there. Oh, no, no, no. I'm saying the, the kids we're playing with. They oh, would take over the world. Gotcha, gotcha. Like, we're not playing with blessing, are we? <laughs> we're just helping blessing level. <laughs> Mike, can you confirm there are croutons in the wrap? I can 100% confirm that because I've had many of these wraps now. They are probably my favorite lunch item at this time. Besides, yeah, I agree. There's a second to In N Out, though. I like In N Out. Oh, In N Out, come on. In N Out, a little cheaper, a lot cheaper. Sure. Yeah, um, yeah. Faster as well. But you want to like pretend to be healthy, you get one. Hey, of I'm these. eating a green. There's a salad. There's exactly, yeah. Greg. You want to pretend to be healthy, you get one of these things. I'll tell you what. Thanks for subbing, you furry bastard. New Atlanta, 19006. With the five gifted subs. That sounded like you were Atlanta. activating the Winter Soldier. <laughs> New Atlanta, 1956. You see, they changed the name of the new movie, Captain America. Is it New World Order? No, no. What is it? It's like Brave New Brave World. New World. Yeah, yeah. It's like they're singing the Aladdin song. It, it went from like a like a dark, edgy title to like hopeful, like hopeful, but almost like too commercially hopeful. You know. That's my favorite. Yeah, not not the biggest fan of the new name. I didn't love New World Order, so. You did not. It makes me think of NWO. So I'm like, yeah. Okay, okay. One of the best factions ever in the WWE. You universe. know, you watch this is awesome. You're, I'll tell you what. Chat, chat, do me a favor right now. Who's out here watching this is awesome? Because man, oh man, you turn on Peacock and you can get some good quality content right now watching this is awesome. Let me know if people are watching that because I love it. Gosh darn it. Mike, next week we got to do a WWE stream just for like 30 minutes at least where I play with my character. Yes, I love that. Oh, Show off my the card. card. Uh -huh. card. I could show you the okay, You see the Wonder Years or the front bottom store that got announced. Uh, I saw the Wonder Years store, Greg. There's uh, one of my favorite albums from the Wonder Years is turning 10 this year. Oh, I saw you tweet about this. You're like 10 years old. Yeah, it makes me feel very old. I was like, you know, sure. had just graduated high school. Um, yeah, I'm debating on that one. I always debate on going to concerts when it's across the bay. This one's in Berkeley, so it's just like uh, how it is oh, one of my favorite fun. albums, though. So it's like, and uh, you know, it's a guarantee they're playing through that entire album. So it's like maybe that's enough for me to want to go. I'm driving all the way down to San Jose to see Blink 182 in a couple months. So, uh, nice. Yeah, I didn't see the Front Bottoms uh, announcement though. I'm excited for their next album though. That was dope. This giant bear. Did you see that, Greg? That I was saw it. Yeah, I killed him. That right was there super lit. Was that just like a regular ass bear? Or like a demon bear? A uh, gigantic bear. Uh, Mark writes in and says, Hey guys, just want to say thanks for all the great content. I often listen to your podcast at work, and it really helps pass the time. Mark, thanks for letting us be a small part of your day, man. Thank Happy you for to be the there super for chat. you, Mark. Yeah, Mark. Kick butt at the 9 to 5, have some fun, and just zone out with some good Diablo. Maybe grab a controller and just pound on all the buttons like I do. Don't do that, Mark. <laughs> Jealous you're seeing Blink with the OG3. Saw them twice with Matt Skiba. I've never seen Blink with Matt Skiba. I haven't seen Blink actually since the last time Tom was 
so that's why I splurged on I, I swiped the card, Mike, because everybody was also up in arms with Blink-182 uh, tickets being kind of expensive. I swiped the card, I was like, I gotta see them before Tom decides to leave the band again, you know? Gotta see them. I mean, there's more UFO stuff going on right now. Right? I know, they're and that, like, I, they're mid-tour. What if he fucking leaves mid-tour? It'd be very like, Guys, I gotta see about these things. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Zen Rocket for gifting five tier one subs. Thank you so much. Zen Rocket for those gifted subs is right. As we start to near the one o'clock hour, which means we have streamed for almost our full two hours. But don't forget, we will go for extra time with your support. Everything after one o'clock is brought to you by you, the best friends watching on YouTube and on Twitch. And thanks to your support with YouTube subs, memberships, super chats, and of course over on Twitch with subs with the tier one to two level or gifted subs. We have now filled up half of the bar and we'll go for an additional 30 minutes. We Yay. go for the full hour and work towards our monthly goal of Nick playing Zelda and singing some karaoke songs with all of you. Guys, I don't want to go back to having to put together our SGF documents, so please fund this so I can keep playing the album. Yes. More more Greg time. I don't get enough Greg time. It sucks that everybody tries to keep us apart. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nick keeps me all to himself, and man, do we have some good times. It's, if you ever wanted a, the definition of a real-life vampire, look at Nick Scarpino. <laughs> Because every, every person we bring in who's young, who has that energy, immediately he just jumps on their jugular and tries yep. to ride it and suck it and just leave him dry. Sucks. It's embarrassing. Look at Andy now. Suck I know, dry. right? Now Andy's the old guy. So the big bear. All right, he's the full record. Shout out I to think that's a condo for gifting mammoth. KFG I guess it's a boar, over, yeah. Tusk Charger. Go with a mammoth, but yeah, it's a boar. It's a and large the ghost boar. baker for gifting out the ones here with sub. Thank you so much. Just cut him in half, Greg. This game Dead. is freaking cool, bro. Thank you, Dropkick Tondo, for the five YouTube memberships as well. Looks like we're having some fun. We're going for it, y'all. You know, you bring up Berkeley. That's a spot I haven't explored much of. That East Bay area. Haven't gone over there. Haven't done if much. There's exploring. anywhere in the East Bay that I think you would enjoy. I think it'd be Berkeley. Berkeley. You'd love Berkeley. Right? Berkeley. It's got the Berkeley. it's got the cool college down there. It's got to be a cool place, right? I gotta go check that out. I need a tour guide, Greg. I like being the tour guide. I love it, but I don't have a tour guide. That's my problem. Sure. You know? Yeah, that's true. That's I need true. someone who's like, yo, I know the area. Let me show you like four cool spots today. I'd be like, let's go. Shout out to Cooper who gifted five of the Tiny Funny Games. Thanks, Coop! The Coop! Who I think confirms that they have. Uh, had not had Jimmy Pesto recorded since January 6th that year. Mon frere. Yep, Mon frere. All right, Mike, so I'm gonna pull the trigger, drop out, house this thing, and I'll come back then and we'll figure it out. Now, did we finish this uh, this area? I you don't think so, right? Because now it just says the well, race was wild. Is that what it says for you? Yeah, what does it say for you? I said travel to the petrified clearing. Yeah, Wraith, <laughs> Wraith Wind Wilds underneath that says travel to the Petrified Clearing, right? Yeah, yeah, I think that's like a... You you know what, Greg? You go eat. Don't you worry about no, it. No, are we here? Are we not here? I don't know. No, I think we got a little bit further to go, bro, bro. I think we oh, got to find the boss is what I mean by that. Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. let's keep going. I thought I thought it was saying you did the thing, you killed the No, guys, I think we got our two prerequisites of killing those monsters, gotcha. but I think there's a boss somewhere. All uh, right, here. Two, uh, two chests that I Also, we up. can just say Nick, Nick will never watch this. I can just Yeah, no, here, Greg, if you want... Oh, yeah. Greg... Chat, if you would like to eat your thing, Greg, you can eat it. Chat, Nobody's, be cool and just don't nobody's tell gonna Nick be that I, I it's, me, it, it's me running the stream today, Greg. Yeah, I he'll never know. I won't fucking And I, you know what, Greg? I'll even take a bite with you so he has to yell at both of us, okay? Great, perfect. He's I'll never take a bite I get it, I get it on podcast content, but just you sit here for five the hours. The streams are supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be laid back and, and chill. You know what's Ready? fun is eating food. Here it is. A little chip. Identity Zero says, great hiking in the Oakland Hills, Mike. 100% agree. Really? Oh, yeah. Mike, don't go to Oakland. There's no reason. 
And then uh, uh, Joshua uh, says East Bay kind of sucks, to be honest. I lived there for a year, but that was a long time ago. And so, yeah, it might have sucked a long time ago. East Bay is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Mike, do you know that I li I've lived here for 16 and a half years, and I've probably been, like, out of my car in the East Bay? <laughs> Maybe five times, you know? <laughs> really, Greg? I lived in Alameda why. for two years. It was a fun That's time over there, Mike. That's wild, Greg. And I, I guess I, I'm, I, I'm being pretty specific probably to Oakland. You know what I mean? Because if, okay. if we're going to start tossing in Ikea trips. Okay, I've been out of the car over there. Okay, if okay. you didn't pass that to like Pleasant Miller Hill. No, I, I'm looking is. for more like you've been to restaurants, you've been on no, a hike, no, you've been no, downtown, no, you know, no, things no, like that nature. No. Yeah, that definitely like, is yeah. that. Uh, the Oaklandish area, that's like, that's four or five. One of them was to get Barrett's or drop off Barrett's uh, wedding certificate. Do you think that's just a, a <laughs> lack of excitement over there? A lack of. Like, I got everything I need over interest. here. I don't need to cross a bridge. You know? Okay. SF's got it all for me. Okay. okay. They've okay. got the. It's the butcher! It's the butcher! Oh, shit. Well, he's gonna regret coming into our game. This is our second time fighting the butcher. That's cool. Stream Diablo 4 at Mount Diablo in the East Bay. There you go. That's nice. That's a, uh, that's an T-Rex can swim. Give the five tier one subs. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks, T-Rex can swim. What up? All right, let's dominate this butcher now. Rope a dope. Rope a dope. Just keep chasing around the merry-go-round here. Mike, there's a nice breakfast spot over in Alameda that I would love to take you to. Good diner. I like that. I like that. I wish we would get more sweet maple. I really love sweet maple. There's a new place here in town called... It's not like new. It's new to me. It's called Plow, which is near that, like, That's my name. I think you call it the dog <laughs> patch, Greg. The dog patch. Yeah, dog patch. That's the place. It's like, you know, the industrial area that looks like you're, like, unloading boats. Yep. I think it's in that area. Loading boats. He's not wrong. You know uh, what he's talking yeah. about. No, I know exactly the A lot of boats. A lot of boats in the bay. Saw a big cruise ship. In the bay by like Fisherman's Wharf area. Never knew That'll that do. cruise ship. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Cool. Ship. It was, it was yeah fun, cool. fun, not fun story. That was uh, that was well, one of the cruise ships was at at the beginning of the pandemic when like they had to hold all these people there. Um, it was here in San Francisco. And you know what we ended up doing, Mike? We sent him over to Oakland. <laughs> We said, we said you can't get off here. You gotta go to Oakland. Oakland was so fucking mad, but nobody cares because Oakland sucks. Oh There's a good my sushi God. place uh, over um, in the East Bay as well, Mikey. I'm not like the okay. biggest sushi guy, but um, there's a good uh, spot there. What, what's the what's the place, the chicken place that Blessing really loves? Hot Boys. Hot Boys. I've been yeah. there. Been there yeah. twice now. I I've got a good sushi spot in Pacifica. I'm a big Pacifica boy. You do I like, like Pacifica a lot. God, he's got me. This guys, guy. He's mad at me. He's I mad at me, guys. He's very, guy. very mad at me. I mean, we're doing it. Just, we're doing the minimal damage. That's the butcher for you, you Jesus. Okay, well. He's pissed at me. I'm down. I got you. Chip break. There we go. No, no, no. This guy is interested in you, bro. From Oakland, you heard me talking shit. Great news, Mike. We're almost halfway on it. Yep, we're putting in that work.
stunned him. At me? He's pissed at me. We're missing a big damage dealer from this squad. Yeah, I mean, that was a problem for us. You can like just tell it's like we're all here, we're surviving, like there's no problem. But, like, we're gonna we're just, win. Yeah. We're exactly. missing that DPS. Get in this bubble and really. This is the DPS that's got to be here. Oh, we just had that. Headbutt right back, Mike. Don't, 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 show no fear. He's <laughs> trying to murder me. Someone else. That aggro man. There it is. Naughty Biscotti. Thank you, Naughty Biscotti, for gifting out a tier one sub. And also thank you, best friends. We're at 106. We got 24 minutes left on today's stream, but we filled up half the bar and we can keep it going. So that's dope. We got more Diablo and hanging out with Greg, which is good. Oh yeah, Mr. Ponton, we got Endless Dark. And then we got who is that? J Sick is in here. Some other jabroni. Drink it! Drink the juice! Wheeze the juice! You got it, you got it, you got it. Get the bubble! Go, get after him. We got him down. One third. He's putting in the work right now. Oh my, oh my, he's gonna murder me. Thanks for subbing, you furry bastard. Ah! Nope. Got in the wrong direction. Mike, how do you feel about Megan Fox giving eulogies in Diablo? How cool is that, Greg? What a fun, dumb idea. Shout out to that marketing team. Blizzard just had, like, a blank check for marketing. Like, Let's do whatever. Let's have oh, yeah. a bunch of musicians Greg's heard of once or twice make music yeah. that every friend's out about. Let's get Halsey and a Jabroni from BTS up in here. Let's do this. Oh, somebody's got Megan Fox's number. What can we do with her? Oh, she'll read your eulogy. Hell yeah. Here's when we finish this guy right here. Finish strong. Oh, finish this guy right here. Shout out to Schmuckboy92 for gifting 10 to your one. Schmuckboy! Schmuckboy! Thanks, Schmuckboy. And thank you to the butcher for giving us a nice run for our money right there. As Greg was just about to eat his sandwich, or his wrap. We'll take a bite We just proceeded to battle that guy That's what right we gotta there. do. That's how you do it here. Try you got the hot sauce, Greg. Did you try it? The Diablo sauce? No, I didn't try it. Yes. I tried the Diablo sauce. I saw y'all drinking over there and eating it. Yeah. If you don't go too hard on it, it's got a nice little kick to it. Yeah, so you went back much. for another one. You went back you're, for another one. You're going to regret it. That's right. You see me wear the dope sweatshirt today, Greg. I did see you wear I, the sweatshirt. I, I wore the sweatshirt I'm not prepared today. to say dope. I'm not prepared oh, to say okay. you're, dope. Oh, you're not going to go dope on the sweatshirt. Okay, I okay. I enjoy that sweatshirt. No. <laughs> but I'm glad you do. You know? Again. Yes. I'm not the most fashionable person here, so mm, if okay. you're all about it, great for you. I'm glad you're all about it. All right, I'll wear it some more then. I'll wear it some more. Out on the road. I need more time. What are you going to say to Jeff Keeley when you see him? Jeff, what up, homeboy? How you doing today? Congratulations on the show. Thanks for putting all this together. Really looking forward to meeting some new people and uh, getting to experience this. Thanks for that. That's what, that will be the first word out of my mouth. Great, great. And then I'll say, what do you think about Michael Jackson and how we let him get away? 
<laughs> Can you imagine it, it just Jeff Keeley's face if that was like, all right, well, I'm going to go to the next one. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> So what was up with the Megan Fox thing? She just like did an ad or something? Yeah, it's an ongoing thing. If you send your deaths or something, they're gonna pick some, and then she's gonna like she'll read the name say you read a you yeah read a eulogy. Uh, yeah, I bet she's right. Yeah, their team will write up some fun dumb thing. I bet she'll read. All I've yeah. heard about is you know uh, Alyssa who's a uh, um, oh I forget what they call him, but a big fan of BTS. They're uh, one of the members is doing a, a song with Paul. Yeah, 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 yeah. We were talking about. That. Is it a good song? Is, a, is it a oh shit? Pump and jam. Yeah, a lot of lot of poison coming out of that guy right now, chat. That would be your last summer game fest. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciated that light blue just went on right to the boss area as we just fought this bear mm -hmm, for our lives, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Light blue was like, see ya. <laughs> I'm coming, Greg. Oh, I'm not worried about it. I know you'll get me. Mike, how do you think Greg's going to work in this Michael Jackson bit into one of our SGF reactions uh, throughout, the, uh, throughout the week? Cause he'll do it. He'll do it at some point. He's just gonna tap his shoulder once, and that that then you know that he's in his mind he's saying it, but he's not saying it. You know, he What's alarming to me, Bear, is you think it's a bit. <laughs> you really need to look in the mirror and think about yourself. All right. <laughs> you need to look at the man in the mirror. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Thanks, Mikey. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, my the God, the bear the bear in the the bear bear again. Bear. <laughs> Eddie. Fall out, watch out. Oh. Chat, there's some day, you know, like uh, the last couple of days, so I was like, oh man, I kind of miss being at work. And Greg's got to go on this. Uh... I love being at work. <laughs> if we could work seven days a week and just all of us be together more, I'd love that. You know Fuck what I mean? Mike. <laughs> if, we, if, we could, if we could spend 70 hours a week minimum together, I'd love that. <laughs> Never want to leave your side, Barrett. <laughs> Kill this bear. I know, I gotta, gotta kill the bear kill before the bear. I help anybody. Yeah, yeah, kill this bear. When does Game Fest, uh, Game Fest tomorrow? Game Fest, I believe, at noon? Noon tomorrow, Because it's yes. 10 to 11 is games daily, so I believe it's noon, yeah. Yeah, and we'll do like an hour long, or 45 minute long post show, essentially. What the hell? Revive it. Yeah, chat will be live pretty much all day tomorrow, starting at 10 a.m. Pacific, right here on Twitch.tv slash Kind of Funny Games and YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games, uh, to talk about whatever news might be dropping hours before the Summer Game Fest, uh, and then we'll do a little uh, post-show uh, fun, I think, with the Jabroni Boys for a little bit, and then uh, we'll go right into our reacts and then do a live games cast breaking down the uh, show. I'm excited to see what he's got this year. Like, truly and honestly, Jeff show has a really great chance, of course, of being great. I think he's learned a lot over Only these game. past couple of years. Only and game in town. I think it really comes down to, like we always say, it just comes down to the games. And that's something he can't truly control. He sure. gets the hand pick stuff, you know what I mean? But, like, I think he's learned the rules of, hey, what do ads need to look and feel like? What does the flow need to be? And so, yeah, I'm looking forward to this year where I think he can really nail it. My only concern is they've confirmed the two hours again. And that's so much time. That's a long, that is a long time. And that is a, hey, are you balancing this? Is this a, you know, are we, we going to nail it? Are we just going to zone out halfway? Through? Give me I'm right there. They can confirm two hours, right? They can confirm two hours. I think so. Okay, just making sure I wasn't. I'm getting so many times right now for on different things. It's great. Bad Give me a tight yeah. 90. Just like a, a just like a nice summer block. Tight, yeah, yeah. tight 90. Yeah. I think 90 is a, a winning formula right there. Because honestly, an hour, especially like with like the ads and stuff, 
feels a little bit short because then, then you feel like you're getting maybe just like a 45 minute show. Obviously, has got to pay the bills, so to give me a, a, a tight 90, spread in the, sprinkle in some of those ads, and then it's like, you know, especially if you're like coming out with banger after banger, and you're 45 minutes in the show, and then you're like, holy shit, we still have half the show left. Yeah, I mean, it's but, always a good feeling. Let me be real with everybody. If you know, he's gonna have ads. Of course, oh, yeah. we know that he's gotta have ads. My dream ad would be the Borderlands movie. It's just Kevin Hart and Claptrap. It's just Kevin Hart and Claptrap. You know what I mean? Oh, we God, get about get six of those. They do something dumb. Would be way better than Homeworld Three. You know what I mean? I'll take that sure. all day. Sure. I like this question from each uh, Sippy who asked, "What game will leave early because of some Walmart in Italy?" Yeah. Well, not even that, just because the PSN will update or whatever, like last year. Yeah, like something at midnight, like something tonight. At midnight, I'll say Wonder Woman. I'll say Wonder Woman. Okay. Wonder Woman. Mike, what, what do you think? What game leads tonight overnight? A Rainbow Six. A Tom oh. Clancy's, like, Rainbow... Some sort of Tom Clancy game. You think that they're doing that in addition to showing it at UB4? Uh, yes. I can see that. The where posting like, will go live. It tomorrow and then yeah. show, like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Forgot the Borderlands movie was happening this year. Uh, mm -hmm. The bread. Okay. Everybody, everybody did except for, Jamie Lee uh, Curtis didn't forget. I'll tell you right now. <laughs> except for Mike, I didn't forget. I don't think Kev I don't think Kevin Hart is claptrap. I thought he was Roland. He's Roland, yeah. Yeah. Who's claptrap? Isn't um claptrap voice actor? I know that's going to give me his action. That's going to be a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah, Jack Black. No way. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, man. They're just going to make Jumanji into Borderlands, and that's a hit right there. Come on. <laughs> that's a goddamn hit right there, bro. <laughs> Sounded like disappointment at first, then it was like excitement. You're like, all right. Oh, cool. God. I that shit it. sounds dope. I always <laughs> default to Nick having some of the worst uh, movie taste in the office, and then Mike, you talk every once in a while, and then I just remember. I'll tell you what, you put Jumanji on right now, we can get lost for two good movies right there. Two oh, good man. movies, it's okay. I had, a, I had a good time right there, I'll tell you what. They got one of the Jonas Brothers in there, he's great. Shout Jeff, out to the Jonas Brothers. Jeff the Mad uh, Maverick says, hey Mike, you've been killing it lately. Can't wait for all the Summer Game Thanks, Fest Jeff. streams. Greg, step it up. Fair enough, I'll try to be better. Jeff, I want you to know that I will make sure Greg is on a lot of cool TikToks and content with me coming out of Summer Games Fest. I'll put the mini microphone on him and I, and we'll do some dope stuff together. I'm excited for the mini microphone. Yeah, I got I was three excited mini that microphones, I Barrett. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I was excited when uh, Andy was testing them out at home. He was like, oh, yeah. like, let's, like, you know, uh, put it over, like, this fan here and, like, let's talk and, like, let's talk really loud and, like, really quiet and let's have, like, background noise on, like, a TV just to, like... Test it all, you know? Yeah. Be prepared for everything. I'll tell you what, learned something strong recently, Greg. I was down in LA for the Expanse event. Yeah. And I told you the story. I learned from the hip hop gamer how you bring it. You know what I mean? The hip hop, hip -hop gamer. Knows bring it. Hip hop, hip -hop, hop gamer it. will show up anywhere that he is called upon and he'll absolutely bring it. No questions asked. He doesn't get doesn't get worried about other people watching him. He doesn't care if he's in the streets of LA or New York, if he's causing a scene. The hip hop gamer brings it and is true to himself and i'm freaking gonna do that i appreciate that be true guy. to yourself be true to your school be true to yourself the hip-hop gamer was the one yourself. who uh made you reveal that you don't know what a hadouken is right yes yes okay. yes 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 just wanted, just wanted, i am uh, happy to reference. say that i'm now playing street fighter 6 and uh so hadouken is somewhere in that game i don't i haven't seen it yet <laughs> <laughs> So you think shorts no go, Greg? No, I wouldn't do shorts. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Just, just double checking. I Over under it. on how many jabronis wear shorts to this? Oh, event. there'll be a lot of shorts. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's LA just... in the summer. It's gonna be warm. Somebody it's said not... earlier it's gloomy down there right now. Gloomy Gus. Well, I'll shut the fuck up then. <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, it's just no, like your opinion, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be in the 70s down there, and we, we have to remember that we're, you know, Bay Area babies over here. Where it gets we are the Bay high, Area babies. High 60s is hot for us, so. All right, Greg. Once again, I say we pick a dungeon and we go attack it. Okay. We Let currently us. have... Chat, just so everybody's aware, we mm -hmm. currently have nine minutes left on today's stream. We are very close to filling up another tick mark on the bar, and we're also very close to filling up the whole bar itself to add an additional 30 minutes, but we could add another 15 on today's stream if you want it. Nine minutes left on this lovely... Wednesday stream tomorrow we will have our live reactions and post show to Summer Game Fest here on Twitch and on YouTube and then Friday none of us will be in the building but I set up a really fun one for you Joey and Nick will come for a live stream and they're gonna play the Outlast Trials and so yeah, you've Outlast seen trial. me and Andy we had a ton of fun we got wild you will see Joey and Nick do the Outlast Trials and trust me it will be a good good time we're gonna make them get scared y'all what is Mike snacking on right now? And what's the go-to Diablo 4 snack of choice? I am snacking on a Little Joe's, original Little Joe's, chicken Caesar wrap with awesome homemade potato chips. Thanks to my good friend, Greg Miller. He rocks. Yeah. What's my go-to Diablo 4 snack? Greg, you know what snack I've been munching on a lot and maybe you have some at the house? What's that? Applesauce packs. Thanks I'm big some. into the applesauce oh, packs. The right now. Like for the babies? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, it's for the small children. The green tops you pop off? Yeah, a little green top. You pop the top. Yeah. You suck them oh, down. Very, oh. Ben loves them. Ben I loves guess them. would we call that like an applesauce go gurt, we'll call it. You know what I mean? It's like a go gurt applesauce. You know what I mean? An oh, applesauce gosh. pouch. Applesauce, Jesus. Applesauce pouch is the a great Duke call, Duke of Dustin Greg. gifted five tier one subs. Thank you so much, Duke of Dustin. And I'm loving that. Shout out loving to uh, Gogurts uh, during the, the summer, Mike, and you'd freeze them. Did you ever freeze do that? them? Oh, freeze them, bear. The fucking dream. That takes me back. A lot of people big into freezing. Is freezing Gogurt it. still a thing? We should do that. Oh, yeah. Gogurt, 100% oh, yeah. a thing. Okay. Maybe Let's Gogurt will sponsor Gogurt's, us one day. Uh, Gogurt sticks and yeah. freeze them this summer. Gogurt, hit us with the sponsorship. We'll be there. Greg's got a new pin down. We're traveling to a new spot. The Just bar is up. filling. Oh, shit. Hold on, sorry. Tell me. Um, in the chat. Yeah. Uh-huh. This is exactly what I'm talking about. In the chat. Uh, solely pieces 3D or whatever the hell I was trying to oh, say. Oh, okay. That says these things are, those things are so wasteful. The applesauce Mike, packs? Mike makes a comment that he it's an applesauce pouch. Yeah. Sophie 3D right now ready to lead a protest outside his house. <laughs> 1996, where, where you, Michael Jackson for exactly. 13 hey, year old hey, in his bedroom. God. Where were you then? Solely 3D? Solely, where Where do you stand on MJ, okay? That's what we really need to know now. All right, Mike, There's the question is no longer. a list of people we need to go after. The pouch <laughs> people aren't the ones, all right? <laughs> the question is no longer how is Greg going to work the Michael Jackson <laughs> bit into tomorrow's stream. It's going to be how many times does he bring oh, it tomorrow? Oh, man, bro. I can't believe that. Listen, there's a different energy for us streaming the album having fun. Uh -huh. Trying to correct the world's issues and, <laughs> yes, and also exactly. react to the summer game fest. So uh -huh, chill out. Uh -huh. If he taps oh, his so, shoulder, so you know he's, he's thinking about so it. That's, how, that's where we draw the line. You'll talk about this on a smaller platform, <laughs> but not a big platform, a bigger platform. Where, uh, I'm you know, saying there's a time and a place made. to ask why the world yes. the way it is, and that's when you're playing Diablo. <laughs> that's when you're playing Diablo. Trying to save Sanctuary. Got Sophie 3D over here <laughs> making her change.org position. <laughs> where, where were you? <laughs> Oh man, all I wanted was some applesauce. Fuck. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Mike. You need to carry around the glass jar of applesauce and eat spoonfuls of it. That's how it's got to be right now. <laughs> Fuck. Every PJ flying putting out enough carbon to kill a horse. We gotta worry about this right now, though. That's where we're at right now. Taylor Swift taking 27 PJs this month. Mike eating a small applesauce packet. <laughs> Get him out of here! Turn off his Twitch! I just want an applesauce! <laughs> oh, I just want an applesauce! <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> We're having a good time today, Chad. We're having a great time. Well, I love hanging out with Greg, man. This is great. Got Baird on the ones and twos. Nice energy today, Baird. Great energy. Great Thank energy. You. I came back I'll well rested. Yeah, Bear, you've come in twice now and just absolutely saved my day a couple of times now. I mean, first one we were playing golf and Andy was just beaten, just beat me. And all I we wanted to do was problem. just absolutely quit the golf game. And Bear came in and was like, Mike, I'm bringing the energy. Let's play golf. And it was like, thank you, Bear. This yeah. is good. And today you have just Thanks complimented Greg and his just absolute questions of MJ <laughs> so well. Shout out to Overly Jammy gifting five zero one subs. Barrett, did you see the latest episode of Demon Slayer? Oh, yeah. I've, I've been keeping up with Demon Slayer every week. Oh. Beautiful animation. They somehow up the game every goddamn week, Mike. It's really impressive. Can't wait to talk about it on the next episode Demon of Kana Anime. Demon Slayer. Wherever, whenever that happens, because it's, uh, it's going to be busy. Quarter. In this quarter. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. We only just started the quarter, you know what I mean? We yeah, just only started true, it. That's true, we have that's three, true. four months. I know. It wasn't that long ago. It, it, again, if y'all um, like anime and you haven't checked out Kana Anime, quarterly show where Mike and I talk about uh, what's hip and uh, hot in the anime world. Uh, our most recent episode came out, I want to say a month ago? It was all With about, uh, uh, yeah, we had Ryan Cole, uh, Levion, uh, who's the voice of Denji from Chainsaw Man that y'all should absolutely check out. Since it was a month ago, that means you could get it for $10 along with more than 230 episodes of other content. Oh, no, Patreon. actually, because it, kind of fun. I, I love the I love the pimp there, Greg, but yeah. because it was a month ago, you can just actually get it on YouTube.com slash kind of funny. I fucked that up. I apologize. Hey, yo. <laughs> I didn't realize we published those later. That's great. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. It's a publish. Uh, right, 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 right. It's like a it's essentially like a screencast presents uh, kind of anime kind of thing. So, yeah, those are public for everybody. Uh, still got to plan episode three. A lot of uh, exciting ideas, Mike. Gonna change up the format a little bit. Well, we'll chat. We'll chat a little bit of Demon Slayer then, for sure. You gonna talk real Ghostbusters? That's perfect. <laughs> I'm going to try to escape. It's on the list. <laughs> <laughs> Someone wrote in about uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender. If we could talk about that on kind of anime, I just didn't even know that. Jay, thank you for gifting out that YouTube membership over on that side. We are so close to adding an additional 15 minutes on today's stream right now. And then we'll be moving into the final fourth of today's bar. So thank you all so much for the support. We're so close Guys, on that one. some real, real bullshit work I have to do at my desk. Like sending analytics and shit to people. Don't make me go do that. Ew. Oh, make Tim do that. Like, like that Greg, let yeah, Greg Tim stay so here and play and make Tim do the boring stuff. You know? I think he's talking about Beetleborgs right now. Yeah. I'm talking about I'm talking about the Borg. Gator call. Give it a whack. Gator call. Just throw it right back. Oh, Greg up in the 41 now, man. Look yeah, at I that. Do. I'm on the move, brother. We're tearing it up. Jen will not be pleased when she sees that. Nope. Where, where's Jen at right now? Uh, well, I started this at 38, so she would have been like 34, 35. Okay. I'm just kidding. She won't. It sounds like the man is punishing you, Greg, for calling out him. <laughs> you know, I mean, when yeah. you're talking about all this Michael Jackson stuff, the real thing is, what did Lisa Marie Presley know? That's the other question I got, you know? Mm. Rest I'd love to see you guys continue slash finish off kill the kill. Nick and someone else started it years ago on a watch along stream that never went visited. I mean that that's Nick and other people. Um, no, we, no, we've got so. our uh, we, we, we've got uh, plans for the the last two episodes of Kanye. Um, don't worry, it'll be it'll be fun stuff. So hit up Nick if you want Nick to finish kill the kill. Make it. Uh, first off, Nick will never see. There's no way to hit him up. But... Nick is watching Air for the fifth time. It's like, Nick, I got it. It's a good movie, but you don't need to watch it more than once. Like, it's like what are you doing?
A lot of gold back here I missed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, we got that special uh, pillar right there. Cookie! Gas my cookies with five gifted subs. Thank you for that. And that's going to bring us past that third of the marker, Woo! three fourths, which means we're going for an additional 15 minutes. Right now, it's 1.30. We fill up the bar. We go all the way till 2 o'clock. Right now, 1.45 on the clock. Let's Woo! do it! Thank you, Cookie. I should have uh, probably filled off my thing, too. I should go... I should have that uh, collectible or whatever from Twitch for the other one. Yes, I bet you, you got your Rogan Necromancer drop. That's right. And then guess what? Next month, or next week, I should say. Every week they're doing this. Yeah. Next week, two new classes in the front. I know. And see, what I'm going to do, really? Mike, is even though I don't have plans for those classes, I'm going to do it. Like, you should have done still this. Still get it. Uh-huh. You still got to get it just in case. That's so Take soon after Apple. launch. Are they just dropping classes like that? Uh, no, 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 no. This is uh, Twitch drops, Bear. I'm sorry. These are uh, Twitch uh, drops. Just, I, I, they're just items. Sorry, yeah. No, no, yeah. It's just stupid. No, Barrett! <laughs> you know, there was a day that I thought I'd get into Diablo. And that day passed. I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> You're still, what, still playing too much Zelda? Uh, Are you still trying to do everything in that kingdom? No, I'm kind of burnt out on video games right now. Oh, wow. But also addicted to Zelda, so it's that weird, like, there will be nights where I think about playing Zelda, but then I just go and turn on the Switch. Sure. Um, that's why I've been binging Succession, because it's like, I just, after playing, like, almost 80 hours of Zelda within two weeks, I uh, yeah, just needed to, to step away for a bit. Sure. Fair enough. So yeah, like, nothing's in there. Thought about Street Fighter. I might, I might fuck around with Street Fighter for a little bit. Does the just what can be if you want it to be mindless nature of Diablo not grab you? Like I, I feel like that's mm -hmm. you know if, I'm I'm excited to have this on my system so that yeah. when I am in that mood when it is ah man I want to play a game today but I don't want to learn something See, new. This is this is the type of um, this style of game like the kind of action RPG uh, whatever uh -huh. you call it. Uh -huh. I feel like it, it, it's a type of thing that uh, like I would need an IP that I would care about to really like even just get into that mindless wave like a marvel like ultimate um, alliance yeah yeah exactly yeah. like uh, this uh, just like the kind of uh, demonic kind of magic vibe doesn't mm -hmm. doesn't really speak to me too much like it would be like the zoning out but then falling asleep kind of zone you know? sure 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 maybe one day we'll get another ultimate alliance maybe, maybe. You know what has uh, I've gotten the mood to do? Because okay. you know I don't replay enough games, um, yeah, especially cool. coming off of the Across the Spider Verse. I kind of want to go back and replay 2018 uh, Miles Morales. So I thought about you know, that too. Get yeah, ready for two. Yeah, get ready for two. You know, and th I feel like if I'm just doing campaign, those are short enough. Yeah, you can probably. Yeah, I mean Miles, miles for sure. Is like you can scream three or four by. hours. Yeah, that's four hours. Yeah, like doing pretty much everything. Mm -hmm. Last well, not sure, I guess. No, no, no. Took a bit to plan. Gator go. Give it away. Thank you, Luda Chris, for your tier one stuff of 28 Luda! months. Great to see you, Luda. Come on now. Mike, I like how you say come on now, like uh, you're the coach of like a little league uh, baseball yeah. team. Yeah. I'm just waiting on Ben. A couple more years, it's almost my turn. T ball up first, along with soccer. Gonna be two great sports to get. I'll show you some. I'll show you a video I took yesterday. Of this kid, he's playing soccer, Mike. He's you know kicking. what I mean? He's I kicking can't. it way. I don't. I can't believe how well he's kicking and it, passing the ball this young. It starts with soccer and t-ball, and then we'll get a little bit of basketball in there. Maybe yeah. we'll flex and try some other sports because, like, you know, I got a knack for tennis. I could see myself getting above the net in volleyball. Some pickleball. You know, we could definitely discuss pickleball. This kid's going places. This kid is definitely going to be a multi-sport athlete in high school. Yeah. Like, you know that one kid that was like, he's on the track team. He's on yeah. the fall yeah. soccer team. He's playing basketball in the winter. This kid's doing it all, y'all. Travel. We get the travel sports because yep. the school isn't giving the ones we want. Yeah. Exactly. Travel sports. We'll be going to a lot of cool places. High school will probably hire me for his four years so I can coach. I'm very sure, excited that about sense, that. That makes sense. You know Y'all are the mean? dynamic duo. Exactly. Like, I mean, the parents will love me by that point. Yeah. And it's just like, hey, Mike's been their coach since they were five. 
he's got to be with him. It's like, yep, I'm going. The Ted Lasso of it all, you know? Yeah. God, I'm so jazzed up about it. Nerd confirmed says, I have a hard time playing games right before the sequel comes out. It burns me out. See, that I understand, but I'm th like, we're talking, we don't even know the release date of Spider Man 2. We're talking about, like, sometime now, replaying 2018 and Miles Morales. And then in a couple months, he gets great. Remember the buttons, for the most part. It's what I did with uh, Tears of the Kingdom. I played through, I replayed Breath of the Wild, like, two months before Tears of the Kingdom came out. It was a good time. Does SF have any art schools? Uh, yeah, there's a high school called Soda. Um, I think it literally just uh, means School of the Arts. Applied there. Did not get in. Huh. I always thought it was Soda, like a drink. Yeah. No. Interesting. I learned something today, Mike. I love that, Greg. I love that. Art school. Interesting. Not my cup of tea. <laughs> Shut <Tell you> what. <laughs> Not my cup of tea. Listening yeah. at the dinner table with the newspaper open. <laughs> yep. Fucking present. <laughs> Been there for that one. Yeah, audition for music didn't get in. It was a competitive spot, and then I went to a public school, and that's funnily enough how I got into theater. Johnny B. Johnny Bernthal. Right now, the punishment. Whoa, Johnny Bernthal. He's got a little oh, uh, TikTok going around right now about how he oh, yeah. got into acting, and it was really, really cool. Uh, got put into uh, a intro to acting class. Right? Intro to acting Ten class. Ten people in it. Lied about it. I saw this TikTok. Yeah, yeah. that was a great TikTok, Greg. I really Johnny loved that. Johnny B's got stories, man. Johnny B's been places. Johnny B. He's almost went like to jail. Good jaboni. Slight spoilers for the bear, but also that came out like a year ago. Shout, again, shout out to Greg Miller for putting everybody onto the to the bear. Yes, um, the bear. The he stole up. that show for the very little reason, you know. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. Good. Gave me a lot of PTSD. A lot of reference. Oh yeah, just a lot of just a lot of a lot of thoughts of like, oh man, yeah, that's how it looked. That's how it went. See, but like add on top of that, Mike, like that entire like restaurant stuff to the fact that you live in the Midwest and I'm just fucking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> PTSD from working at a restaurant uh, as a jid. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I still think about it to this day. Still, still think you haven't worked in the the restaurant uh, industry. My dad can tell stories. I miss the food. I miss the people. Don't miss the. Don't miss that. The people are always great. I ate big. Tell you what, Greg. Yeah, I'm sure you <laughs> did. There was never a time where I didn't have a chicken tender in my hand. She <laughs> was. <laughs> Sneak into the fridge, go grab a bunch of chocolate milk spare, just down chocolate milk, go right back to it. <laughs> yeah, right back to it. That's what you had to do. That's how we did it back in the day. I think Overcooked might... I think Overcooked is a perfect video game. I'm not afraid to say it. Great game. It's a perfect video game when you think about it. Overcooked what? one or two? Both. I would say both. Both are very, very good. added in like the online multiplayer and stuff, right? So there you go. Mm, but like, yeah. man oh man, you think about just the game and it's like, they nailed that idea, you know? Mm -hmm. It's stressful but fun. It's challenging and rewarding. You can learn and become better or you can just like freak out with all of your friends. Uh, what a perfect video game. Sucks Joey so bad at it. And I'm so excited because <laughs> moving out. They're going to have Moving Out at the uh, PC conference oh. this weekend, so we'll get to see Moving Out 2. And, of course, that will hopefully, if not, of course, have online multiplayer, which the first one did. And uh, that will make for a great game. Look at us, Greg. Just tearing it up. Resurrected Malice is like, man, I wish I hadn't resurrected. Uh-huh. This uh, stayed dead. These people are being, they've been eating chicken salad, seeing the wraps, I can tell. They're so good at the game. Oh, 
chat right now. We have five minutes left on today's stream. Thank you to Slow Mo Joe TV for the Slow tier Mo one Joe. sub for 21 months. We're getting close to still filling up that bar today, adding another mark onto our four. We'd make it four out of 10 for our big monthly goals to have Nick play a very fun, long stream of Zelda with all of you. I got a no. Air. They said there'd been maintenance. They had said maintenance. Was no. Happening, so like, there could be problems. Oh. He got the network air. No way. Oh. I'll try to get back on. Is he already dead? He already killed him. He's no, low. he's got 20%. Yeah, Tell everybody to stop shooting and just run around. Stop yeah, shooting. Stop shooting run around. Everybody stop shooting. <laughs> Let me see if I get back. <laughs> we got to invite Greg. Let me know when you're back. I'm on a weird Lotus thing. Well, there. oh shit! Don't oh, no. tell me this is well. what Oh no, bro! No, no. Oh no, no, that's that's all. You're all right. You're all right. You're all right. We are gonna close out of the game and come back in. You're all right. We're He's not, all right, not, chat. He's we're not gonna panic. 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 It did give you the option that you could delete a character, so it did detect that something was there. Okay. Also, just shout out to the crew just fucking taking out this resurrected malice. Yeah, we had we had to kill him. I'm sorry. Can't believe that That's they you know, stole a stole an idea from. Uh... Okay, all right, hold on, hold on. All right, we're coming back. This is how we're gonna end the stream. Does Greg still have his character? Yeah, that's a great way to end this stream is right. Does Greg have a character, chat? Now, would this also have Jen's character tied to it? No, that's no, not that's her account. account. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay. Oh. All right. We're okay, everybody. Okay, we're, okay. we're all good. Wow. Okay. Perfect place to end today's stream. Barrett. Since I have a chip in my mouth, will you tell everybody what we're doing tomorrow so they don't Tomorrow, forget? everybody, we will be right back here on twitch.tv slash kindoffunnygames and youtube.com slash kindoffunnygames for the Summer Game Fest. We will be live at 10 a.m. Pacific uh, on Kind of Funny Games Daily where we, we, where we will be uh, breaking down any news uh, that comes out before Summer Game Fest. Uh, it might be a, a light show because I'd be surprised if anybody's trying to drop any big announcements before that big stream. But maybe Maybe say things leak overnight. Who knows? But we'll be there to talk about it. Then we'll do a fun little post show, I think, with the Jabroni boys having some fun before Summer Game Fest. Uh, the proper stream starts. And then we'll be live reacting uh, at 12 p.m. Pacific to the showcase and then doing a full-on breakdown of the showcase on the Kind of Funny Games cast live for everybody on YouTube and Twitch. So get ready for that, everybody. It's going to be a goddamn good time. Um, Mike, Greg, nailed it. How do y'all feel leaving today, going into Summer Game Fest tomorrow? I'm excited. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's see what Jeff's got. Let's get down to LA, hang out, and have a few margaritas, and let's get back here for Xbox. So well said. Just so pumped up about the week. It's going to be really exciting with all of you. Thank you for your support. I'll say it one more time. Do not forget, if you are watching live on Twitch, consider subscribing and supporting at, with us at the Tier 1 through 3 level or for free with Prime Gaming so you don't have to watch any ads when it goes down tomorrow and throughout the weekend because nobody wants to miss out on the big, exciting announcements. Until then... We'll catch you tomorrow, everyone. Goodbye.